So let me turn that off. That's 5% volume. 5%, just so you know. Can I make this full screen window? 5% max volume. I'm going to lower this a little bit more here. Homeless warning sound effects. Okay, that still sounds loud. Try 50%. So we dropped it to 5% and then 50%. Um, let me take two seconds to see if I do have a spare key. Because I think, I think the devs for this game gave me a key to give away. I think that was this game. I could be wrong. Kingdoms Reborn. Let's do Kingdoms. I'm looking at email. Um, there's the Steam key that they gave me. Yes, I do. Uh, I do have an extra key to give away. So, I'm not gonna give it away right this second. We're gonna get in here a little bit. We're gonna play it for a little while, and then we'll give that key away. I don't have a set time, but we'll give that key away. So. And, you know, and again, thank you. Oh, that's that's what I was gonna do. One one moment. Um, thanks for the key, devs. Okay, because I always like to let people know you're banning everyone in the chat, so I'm the only winner. Excellent, good choice. I always try to be you know transparent. Like if I give given a key, because there are people who are concerned that will give me a bias towards being positive towards the game just because they gave me a key. Um, I tried not that that be an influence or anything like that. And the same with sponsors, is that people assume because a game sponsors, which it did not sponsor, but if a game were to sponsor the channel, that people assume that, you know, they can't, you know, that basically they should take what I say with a grain of salt and all that. Force click through? Okay. But, um, yeah, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check, I always go and check what accessibility settings we have. Um... That's all performance stuff in Windowed. That's not a big thing. Volume's not a big thing. Yeah, so nothing nothing particularly here accessibility-wise, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It depends on the situation. It does appear they have both multiplayer and single player. I don't know the game yet, so I don't know how meaningful that is one way or the other. Um, What? Okay. So we have our factions we can choose from. We have the Duchies, which is, or Duchess. I don't know how I pronounce that. Uh, Research Powerhouse. We have the Emirates, which is traders in the desert. And we have Norsemen, which are survivors in the north. I'm pretty sure I got that wrong, and I apologize. We got a bunch of things. I don't know any of these, so we're just going to leave it alone. Uh, we have our thing. We apparently could choose a, a Doge Dog. I forget what it's called. Or a cat. You can choose like various other symbols. It's weird that there's like no music here. I can do a pair of sunglasses and a cigarette. A bunch of memes. I appreciate that they just arbitrarily include a bunch of meme faces and all that in here. I don't think I'm going to use them. But I do recognize and appreciate it. A lion. There's a griffin. A lion. I see a wolf. I see a shark. I see a gorilla. I'm pretty sure that's some brand or something I don't recognize. I see some strange dragon. I don't see a lion, though. Oh, the uh, the old school line. By the pine tree. By the pine tree. A marijuana leaf, apparently. Are you just trolling me right now? Because I assume you'd actually say, like, rows in our... Okay, I did find it. Yeah, you just want the line? That's fine. Um, 
orange and gray. They chose the orange and gray being a choice is literally the winner. See, it looks like um, it looks like one boxing. Yeah, and then we have our portrait, which you can choose a whole bunch. They have apparently Gandhi and Abraham Lincoln. And I'm assuming these are all other important people. They had a bunch of just random leaders from like all over the time span. Interesting. That's fine. Alright, so we've got a random seed. We have all these things. Artificial intelligence. So there's definitely a versus to this because there's artificial intelligence players. Yeah, Angela Merkel. Yeah, that's a thing. Yes. There was um there was a bunch of stuff. So it's interesting that they have generated world and start games separately. World is ready. Okay. Maybe this is a 4X game? Oh, this looks like a 4X game. Okay. Choose a starting location. So my understanding of this game was totally wrong, which is fine. I probably just mixed it up in the noise. So it's a 4X game. Um, let's see. The Great Freeze left the colony or civilization in ruin. A few were strong enough to withstand the cold and plague that claimed the earth. Decades have passed since the frost took our lands, and the courage and hope has returned the melting ice. It falls on us, we surviving few, to rebuild the flourishing society. So this is a post... What is a 4X game? That's like Civilization or Stellaris, grand strategy games. Um, That's just when you're talking like 4X games. Uh, let's see. Um, It falls on us, it's right. So this is a post-apocalyptic, or a post-post-apocalyptic world. We had an apocalyptic event... The world is coming back from it. Okay. So, cheers and new beginnings. Explore, expand, and the other two X's. Gotcha. So, we have WASD. You need to rotate. We need to choose a starting location. Explore, extend, exterminate, X something. It's probably something to do with research. So it's telling me, so I get to know where the other players are, well, other factions are. So we got one here, we got one there, we got one there. So that's all desert down there, I assume that's not what I want. So we're just going to choose ourselves in the middle, because I have no idea. So it also isn't the hexagonal, which is what you see so many of these games, they'll do like the hex tiles. That looks like a dock? I have no idea what I want, so I'm going to put it here. Uh, forest Province, serene broadleaf forest with moderate temperature. Its friendly conditions make it ideal for starting an area for new players. Okay, so I'm not sure if I'm spending money or gaining money. Exploit. That's the last one. Gotcha. There's gold there. Yeah, I want to be near the gold. I don't know if I should actually be at the gold. So... Confirm initial resources. Um, okay. Unlocked a badge. Okay. Oh! I see. And the music still seems very loud. I'm terrified what this thing sounds on max volume. Blow out speakers or something. I'm also not sure those volume controls are working. Rivers are most, always good for the settlement. Yeah. Rivers as well as ocean front. Do it? Punish re earphone users? No, because it's punishing me too. Oh, I see. That's the reason why when I looked at it. Um, have I played any of the Anons? Anos. I have not. I own one of them with the intentions of playing at some point. That's why I thought it was a colony builder. You do actually build a colony style, but like the tiles and the way the other NPCs are is like 4x. Okay, that's interesting. I haven't seen a game do that before. It must be loud for you because we can. I can barely hear it. Um, well, here's a question. For everyone over there, how would you say the game volume is for you? Like the music, is it loud, is it quiet? Um, start with, so it's got a card mechanic. It's fine. Appropriate? Okay, cool, cool. 
Cool, thank you. I always do try and do that because you'll like have, you know, individual settings can mess with stuff. Uh, so I always try to get a consensus. All right, um, I'm gonna do wheat. Um, choose a biome bonus. So that would be for this tile. I get a bonus. Uh, so we can make their charcoal burners better, or I can make my farming better. I'm going to go with farming. Would you like some guidance? Sure. A new quest, build a food producer. People require food to stay alive. I don't believe you. Um, build food producer. Go in the card stack. Okay, so these are cards down here. Unlocked wheat. Switch your farm's work mode to grow wheat. Unlocked farm. Um, build farm. All right, so it's looking like 40-something percent is about the best we're going to get. Drag cursor. Resize the farm. I don't know if that's way too big. Superb. After the food producer is built, you will start producing food. Cool. Gather all. Um, sure, go murder those trees. Um, claim a ter ter territory to expand your territory by claiming regions. To claim a region, click on any region adjacent of your territory's border, and on the opened description UI, click the claim land. Sure. Well, it says claim province, but same thing. Nicely done. You can now build and gather your resources there. So it costs money to claim land. All right. And then this is my territory and my, you know, my enemies cannot impinge on it. Or if there is, they have to, like, buy it out from under me or something. Like, they'll have some mechanic that they can take it from me, would be my guess. Uh, citizens require cozy housing to survive. Um, in the building. Okay. Unlocked coal mine. Unlocked coal mine. Would you like to buy a coal mine card? Sure. Show the cards. Buy cards. All right, so we can build houses. Need a region with coal mines. House too far. That's what I figured. Okay. Not that it was going to be houses specifically. That's something to be too far. All right. So I've got building people building houses. Okay. So this is this is a combination of like settlement builder with some type of grand strategy thing going on. So like industries of Titan. Okay. And cross river with those. And how much housing does one house provide? Four. Okay, can it, you acquire science points by increasing the population, upgrading houses? So basically, I get my tech points is generally. Um, so we can do trading posts. Which will bring us more people or medicine. I will try trading first. Try and get enough houses so everyone's not outside. Oh, I appreciate that it makes the trees disappear when I'm placing stuff. That music's fun. Get a new card in hand each round. Alright, so we get a fruit gatherer, a forestry, a hunting lodge, a hunting lodge, or a charcoal burner. I think we'd do the forestry. Um, and this one's also free. Oh, that's a free reroll. We can grow a mushroom... 
farm using wood? You know what? That makes me curious. I'll do it. The labor count is now zero in Raw Storage Town. Oh, I didn't name the town. Like, it didn't seem to give me a choice. Raw Storage Town. Every citizen employed by building, there's no free labor left to haul or gather resources full time. This can cause logistics issues resulting in production slowdown or resources not being picked up. To increase the labor count, either expel workers from building or manually set laborers to count for the town hall or the employee in bureau. Um... Okay, you've told me you want me to do these things, but gonna be honest here, I'm not sure where that happens. This is our town hall. Okay, we can rename the town, um, and I already know what, what's going to be requested, so don't worry about it, I got it. There, we, we have we have named it El Gosoberg. We are prepared. Unlock priority. So we can set a building's priority from prioritize, don't allow, and okay. What a fantastic name. I wonder where you came up with it. I don't know, it's just, it just called to me. We unlocked points used to upgrade buildings. I'll increase your population to get more points. Okay. Upgrade to intensive care. Upgrade to stone insulation. What do I want? What we'll is upgrade town hall? Okay, choose another biome bonus. We get extra productivity with beer brewery or product of stone tools, workshop, and blacksmith. Made from the shape of the nearby lake. Um, yeah, it just reminds me. Food reserves are low. I don't know. We need a certain extra... We need, um, a way to... Research our way into the next era. Unlock Town Hall Upgrade. Your Town Hall is now level 2. You can train military units, so we will have combat. Well done. Your people are happy, and they finally have houses to live in. Providing enough houses in porn, homeless people can migrate away or die during the winter. On the other hand, having extra houses can attract immigrants. Okay, so basically, extra housing means more people, not enough housing means less people. Fair enough. You're building an extra house here. You can demolish, you can farm, and all that. Is that permanent? I pay 16 stone for 30% production bonus? Sure. Oh, it just does. Okay, I thought that'd actually bring the stone and build. Uh, must be... Yeah, sorry, I read that. Gotcha, so they actually show the priority here. That's cool. Oh, that's so much better than so many of the other games do. Like, normally I have to, like, drill in and find it all here. Now, like, as I'm going over, it's like, okay, you clicked on a building. I have one person, you have two people, you have two people. You're like, here's, like, make that the priority, stop that one. That's pretty sweet. I appreciate that. Anytime I can get more information, I'm going to be on board with it. I like how the boar is just wandering through town. Same with the red deer. I assume when I get a hunter's lodge, that's gonna that's gonna take a considerable change. Okay, so I need money for this, because I'm basically low on money. We can get a fishing lodge, that's probably a good call. Okay, I see. So I gotta, I gotta wait till I get more money, and then I buy the fishing lodge. Um, the fishing lodge is 240. I'm gonna have to wait a while to get more money. I did notice 
I got the one farm. I don't get a choice of another one. So this is using like the card game kind of mechanics where you unlock stuff and all that. Train units. I have a free laborer slash builder. I want to leave that person free for right now. I'm going to not immediately make them military if I can help it. All right, Darth Star, you take it easy. Uh, because my fear is, while I definitely want a military to be able to defend myself, it is that style of game. I need at least one person running around doing work for me. Like with building and all that. Oh, good. And they also show a chart that's like um, showing the rate of consumption versus production. A lot of games, they don't even do that. Resume says you can't play this game. Gotcha. Any specific reason you can't play the game? Like, it's also cool if you realize, like, it's just not my kind of game. It's also okay, like, you're like, look, I don't want to explain. Oh, the cards and deck builder are many. Yeah, I, um, there's been a lot of those games that, in the past, I would very much just shrug away with it. Kind of the way I look at it, like, I kind of wish they would stop leaning in on them being cards and just make it so, like, you're building your base that goes, okay, you now have, like, the availability of another whatever. Um, I, I wish they'd go that route, because everyone's been leaning on the, the card game side of it, which, it's fine. But, yeah. Uh, like, I used to avoid almost any type of card deck builder game when it came to these. I've laxed on that a lot, though, as I've run into more and more of them that were actually really good. But I also understand where people get completely shut down by it. It's totally fair. If it's not your jam, it's not your jam. But, like, the fact that I can't just keep building a bunch of the same building. A wandering trader has arrived. They wish to buy any goods you may have. Trade. Um... I'm producing 75 coal per turn. Give me the money. Fishing lodge, submit. Uh, steal money equal to the target player's population times 10. Use on town hall. Or I can buy wood. Um, stone tool shop, immigration office, and quarry. Um, I can just straight up jack someone's money. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, but like, that's pretty, pretty awesome if you ask me. Um, I feel like we should get the immigration office to be able to increase our population. And the hunting lodge, because I'm getting weirded out by all the animals running through my city at all times. Yeah, sorry, I tried every single one. The deck building elements, I always ends up turning them off. Yeah, that's fine. Like, I I get it. Because like I said, previously I was in the same camp where, um... Oh, I'm out of money, so I can't... Oh, the card price is 240 so I've already paid for it. You got an upkeep of 20 which I can afford. Um, it isn't fun to me. It isn't challenging to me. It's just annoying. Like, please let me build as I see fit. Yeah, no, I, um, I get that. I, I enjoy the games kind of constraining what I can and can't build to a certain degree. Like, it's a problem you run to with a lot of games that you'll have, like, some building that, you know, it's either super duper lucrative or, you know, it's like the meta or whatever for this. And you just plunk down a whole bunch of them and then you can just trade your way to victory. Like, and that's, that's a very common strategy in a lot of games. Um, and I like how these style of games kind of give you the inability to do that. You have to sort of pivot with what your options are. But I can also see where people wouldn't be into that. Like, that's fine. The deck building thing that usually annoys me is, like, between rounds of playing this, that you'd have, like, your 10, like, we'll say 20 cards. You have, like, your 20 cards, and you have to decide which buildings you do and what don't want to have in your set. That, that one gets to me a little bit. Like, I don't think I'd want that for a settlement builder. Um, but there's been exceptions that I found, like, uh, Potionomics, which isn't a city builder, it's, um, it's a whole thing. Potionomics is a game that I, uh, 
I ended up finding like really enjoyed that had card game mechanics to it. Did I really make that not lined up? If I make the road there, does that fix the problem? Oh, that's deeply upsetting. Don't look straight at it, chat. It can't hurt you if you don't see it. Overview. Okay. So I can look at my other the other players, right? Well, when I say players, it's bot. Sweats. Okay, so they're growing a lot faster housing-wise than I am. Um, and interestingly, they put a bunch of stuff over here by themselves, and they're building an art spot over there. So I don't know how good, bad, or otherwise that strategy is, because I've never played this before. Um, this one... That's me. I was about to say, this one looks like they're absolutely sleeping. Um, that's, that's me. That's... That... You have Stonehenge? Why do you have Stonehenge? Wait a second. I mean, it's cool that you have Stonehenge. I'm a little surprised to just go over to your base and see Stonehenge just sitting there. Okay. Yeah, so it feels like all of them are farther ahead than I am, but that makes sense. My very first time playing. He has Stonehenge, GG. Get, what is it, like, from Civilization? Isn't that, like, five culture a turn? I mean, it can be very strong early game. I have a lot of fun with games when everything is available to me from the beginning. It's just, okay, this is what the options are available to you, and the resources and population are both. Um, have it. Nothing is gated or locked or whatever. It's literally just get what you need when you have it. Yeah, and I can understand that. There's definitely games that I feel that way. Like, for example, um, games like City Skylines, I get pretty annoyed when those games are like, no, you have to get your population to 20,000 before you're allowed to. It's like, man, I'm sitting on $20 million. Just let me build the stupid building. Let me go to my neighbor and say, hey, give me the plans of this building. Here's 15 mil. But then there's other games that I really don't care. All right, so I'm getting I'm getting ominous music at selling me fuel is low, which makes sense because I'm assuming wood is fuel. Uh, so I'm guessing people are going to hecking die because I didn't keep enough wood on standby. I wonder if I can break the rock. Is it? No. Okay. Can I just build storage easily? Okay, so we finished our first tech tree. Um, well, we got the bonus for... No, we didn't. It's fine. I already clicked that. Apparently that accepted it. Um, would you like to buy a trading post card for 240 I don't have it, but yes. You do not have enough. Oh, no thanks. It's fine. So we're running into a little bit of trouble right now uh, because it is exceedingly cold and that's a problem. Okay, so we can get a charcoal burner and the charcoal burner will be more efficient with our heating. And plus the charcoal burner means I will have... Um, Like, I'll, I'll have wood that's been converted into charcoal so I can't accidentally build buildings with it. Because the thing that's the reason why I ran out of wood is I built buildings with all my wood and then, you know, there was no wood for keeping us from freezing to death gradually. Year one summary. No one's been born, no one immigrated, no one left, no one died, no one starved, or anything like that. We got 81 gold and we got 13 research. Um, uh, this game I had a situation like, I know what I want, need, uh, but I have to wait for the Bloomin' card. 
After that, I just quit, and it adds an element of luck and randomness whenever I want to call it that. I don't want to say calling it. Yeah, and no, that's fine. Like, and and I agree with that sentiment to a lot of games. Um, but I also think there is value in a game that you're like, I want this. This to be the perfect card, and you don't, or the perfect building, and you just don't get and go. Okay, what can I make this work that isn't that? You know, and taking taking the best it deals with you. But it's just different types of things. Like, a lot of times when you're playing City Builders, you just want to make a city and you don't want to deal with it. So I can I can respect that. I mean, you enjoy what you enjoy. I, like, whether I respect it or not doesn't matter. But I know I gotcha. Like I said, for this style of game, it doesn't bother me that much. A lot of these, a lot of these ones. When it's, like, a proper, proper City Builder, like City Skylines, it, it would bother me. Like, City Skylines gatekeeping certain, certain things, you're like... Like, for example, the crematorium in City Skylines, I get really annoyed that it's so high population before you unlock it that you almost want to, like, hyper-grow your city just to unlock it. She says, I really hope they improve the UI with Dwarf Fortress because I think it'd be really enjoyable to see you try and play it again. Yeah. I, I like the idea of Dwarf Fortress. But, yeah, that UI... That UI was very much a deal-breaker for me. I gave it a good a good shot, and I was just like, no, I'm really not having fun with this game, because it felt like it felt like I was fighting the UI, not the game. Uh, sorry, I'm more of the creative type, so I don't like cards the cards much. Yeah, no, I got gotcha. you. You wanna you wanna like make your des not a, I shouldn't say designer city or whatever. You wanna like put the time in on that. You don't wanna like. You know, you don't. You're not looking for the challenge of trying to adjust as like circumstances come up. You want to just like make your city, and that's fair. Burning Sun says, "I remember a 4x space game that had a tech tree hidden behind a fog of war type thing. So the links would change, making the path different each time. The tech simply got skipped completely." Yay, immigrants! Um, we totally spaced out the ads. I, I noticed, like, when I noticed about halfway through, I'm like, all right, well, it's, you know, we're already halfway through. Yeah, really hard time with it also, but I enjoy the, that little game. Yeah. All right, so we could choose our prize from the immigrants. Um, we can put in a building slot, in a building slot passion, which will make them happier and more productive. Uh, sustainability, which means they require less materials, and motivation for every one happiness above 60% gain one productivity. So with 100% happiness, this would be up to 40%. I think I'm going to go with passion, because it's not like conditionally better. You can't help but notice a wide smile is spread across the immigrant child as she enters her promised land. Aw. So, passion... Okay, so we have a passion for mushroom farming. The truest of true passions. Oh, and bar trauma has a hard learning curve for me. Holy cow. Yeah, I've I've seen it. Um, I think I mentioned it earlier. Let me double check to make sure nothing's changed before I end say this. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Where is the events? Upcoming events. Yeah... So where I mentioned I was going to be playing, potentially playing, and this is the reason why I didn't say who and all that, uh, playing Borrow, Tra Borrow Trauma with a group of people, um, it does look like the group of people I was looking at, they're planning on doing the event where a whole bunch of people are going to be playing it tomorrow, which is my day off, so that might not end up being a thing. Like, I'll, I'll probably see if I can't find someone to play Borrow Trauma with, but um, the, the particular, like, and it could be that we just play with them another day. It's just the whole thing, because there's a whole bunch of people who are going to be involved that my my off day was the outlier. So, you know, they, they planned what worked for the most people from the, from the sounds of it, so that is what it is. It happens. All right. Alright, we'll build a pig farmer, I guess. Oh, wow. Okay, pig farmer field is not insignificant.
It also chops, it's showing like, I'm not sure it's saying it's got chopped out a tree, but showing the tree is disappearing from a long way away. Alright, so there's enough room I can fit a road past here. Oh, interesting. You can plant fruiting trees or not fruiting trees and all that. Oh, my that's going to get smelly. Yeah, I think Borrowed Trauma is, is meant to play with a group. So, right now I'm running into problems on wood, which is why I got the forestry as one of my early buildings. Can I... How easy is it for me to expand that? I'm gonna get six, you know, upgrade points, whatever they're called. Upgrade Forest Town. Um, cost stone. Gain productivity if this city has two to to um four or eight foresters upgrade uh tree cutting techniques upgrade timber management so i'll burn some spo some stone tools to give us more wood production Yeah, I feel like I'm making mistakes because we're really struggling on the wood front. Okay, so the next province is in all that cost a whole lot of money to buy. How much are you all expanding tile-wise? Yeah, so you've already got... Oh man, you're already on five tiles. And interestingly, they're only putting like a couple of things per tile. I got a lot of trading posts going. I feel like that's one thing I'm missing out is trading posts. That's that's me. And I keep looking at my like when we go by, I was like, oh, we're not too like in too bad shape. And then it's like, oh right, like okay, they're actually not doing much different than we are. They've got three, they got more regions, but really when it comes to buildings, they've just got their houses here. They got a little production up here and a little over there. Granted, they're storing a heck of a lot of meat. Okay. I don't know if it's a good or terrible idea. We don't really know yet, like, what the pain points and limitations are if we overexpand all that stuff. So I got 160. Um, I don't think we need our mushroom farm. I feel like we want the trading post. So save up for 250. Their population is growing, but stalled out because they need more housing. And to fix that, I need more wood. Which we're working on. Imagine there's a limit on how many things we can do. Okay, you can accelerate production on certain buildings as well. I 
And I got a bunch of spare, like a bunch of builders. Okay, so they are building the pig farm first, which is interesting. I'm curious how the prioritization works, because I think that's farther than those buildings from our town hall. It's also the last building I put down. So I don't fully understand how the prioritization works on what buildings it's going to go and say, you know, focus on building that building for this building. Um, it could be that we got the wood from over here first, and so it's just the first place they brought the wood. So, not entirely sure on all that. It does give a distance to Town Hall. So weirdly, this to me looks like a world map. Like, very, very world map. But this is implying like it's a single continent. What do you have here? Apparently cannabis is a resource in this game. And not like something cannabis-like, just straight up cannabis. It's usually hemp for clothes? Yeah, but that's the thing, they usually call it hemp. That you just grow hemp, versus like, flat out calling it cannabis. Yeah, or Smoke Lee for one of the many other, you know, like, all the other games who have done things that are very clearly meant to be it. Unlocked the Statistics Bureau. Once built, allow your... Allow you to view town statistics. Okay. It doesn't seem to have a road requirement. You've reached the maximum number of queued cards in hand. Um, queued hands will be converted to one wild card. Well, they'd like to trade goods? Okay. Um. Let's give them some medicine. And some stone tools. So we get a hecking, hecking lot of money. All right. So, trading port, submit. Oh, you're not going to fit like anywhere, are you? Oh, don't do this game. I have a trade port, but I can't fit it anywhere. Ah, yes. The perfect location for a trade port. Right here. Right there is where I want the trade port. <laughs> Luckily, it says you can't do it. It has to be face and see. All right. I think you can scooch up around that. Okay. Ah, so after five, it gives me what? Oh, so if I save up five, I can get whatever I want. Okay. Well, now I'm overwhelmed by what the heck I'd even do. So, that can make stone tools. One second. Let's cancel that for a moment. Statistics? Gotcha. Um, so I don't think I have a building. Okay. So let's make the stone tools, because I have a bonus for making those. Where did you go? Cool. Oh, if I produce enough fish, I get a reward. Interesting. Gotcha. So you do have the choice of 
just delaying building stuff and then getting to, to you know, pick what you want. So something that actually works around, like where um, where we were talking about earlier, that you know, like a lot of these games, you'll sit there and have the thing you want to build, but you just can't get it to happen. Like it just won't come up in the deck. I think that's a good workaround for it. That if it just doesn't come in the deck, you can just wait, and then you know you'll get it eventually. Um. in our pig farm. I also need to claim more territory. I have 800. I can't take that one. And get this one with iron for 700. Those ones are considerably more expensive. That one, it's not attached, so it won't let me. I think that's oil down there where the water's darkened. You're not claim through mountain or sea. Okay, so that's mountain. I'll take the coast. Okay. Your medicine and medical herb count is low. If you run out of both medicine and medical herbs, sickness will spread, killing your citizens. Reduce medicines by unlocking the herb seeds technology, build farm, and change its work mode to medicine. Okay. Oh, I can just increase my farm production. All right. Improved production of the charcoal burner. Beer card. Where did my... Oh, I'm not zoomed in far enough. Okay, it's like, where did my stuff go? If they wanted to live here, they wouldn't get sick. I mean, yeah, obviously. Alright, so, sounds to me like you need a new farm, and it seems like the perfect place to shove a farm is where I can't realistically fit literally anything else. So I do like, a lot of these other games, like you have to make your farms a rectangle, I do like that this game seems to be, it's like, nah, I don't care, just shove this where you can shove it. Which is perfect. Just exile all the sick people. Easy. Eeh. So I am putting off training a military, which might be a mistake. I'm kind of counting on for these two to get over here. They're going to march their people the whole way around there to get to me. Oh, hey, Iggy. No problem with the shout. I was getting confused when I was like, what's popping up? I don't understand. Yeah, but no, Iggy, Iggy means a fantastic content creator, VTuber. Definitely worth checking out all that sort of stuff. Um, what have we been playing lately? Uh, I've been playing, there's been Project Wigman, uh, Skyrim, Little Gator Game, which I don't actually know what it is. But, you know, good times over there. Yeah, so, I'm counting on the fact that it's a really long hike for them to walk their people over. And same for them. That I'm going to be, you know, security by obscurity. You know, that definitely, that definitely is something you want to rely on. You should never rely on that for the record. Um, that I am far enough and not threatening enough that they'll be like, oh, taking the time to go over there and cause problems would be more of a waste of resources than a benefit. Little Gator Game is the most wholesome experience released in the past, like, decade. Go on. 
that is a uh, that is a significant like a very meaningful stance. I don't want to. I'm not trying to make it sound like it's a bold claim or whatever. That's um that's you know a big thing. I was like, okay, I'm listening. You've got my attention. I can get down with some wholesome. Okay, so this year we shouldn't have to worry about getting cold, like, being cold, because I get a heckin' lot of coal. You just play as a little gator, and you go around an island exploring and making friends in a little make-believe fantasy game everyone's playing. Oh, like, so you aren't actually the gator, like, it's it's make-believe, like you're someone else make-believing as the gator, but so is everyone else make-believing, so it's kind of like everyone just kind of... Chilling, playing, make believe. Do I have that right? I mean, for the context of the gator's appearance, yeah. Like everyone's animal characters? Gotcha. I am noticing that this doesn't have the list of medicine, which is what I was expecting it to say, uh, which is deeply concerning. Um. Increase visitors' entertainment, happiness, base, service, quality, fit, because we can make a tavern. Which requires 320 money. We might be in trouble. They are pretending to be all in a fantasy. And bad explain. Would recommend trailer. Gotcha. I'll have to check it out. It sounds it sounds cute. Increase your productivity. Alright. Decrease the upkeep, increase productivity, consume less. make a heckin' lot of pigs. All the pigs. Is that iron I'm out of? No, stone. Um, that makes sense because I don't think I'm actually grabbing any stone. So let's tell them to grab that stone up there and then they're cutting down all these trees. It's fine. All right, um, I actually do have a homeless person now. And buy wood. I'm going to, no, I'm not gonna do it. We're gonna wait till we get a little bit more money and then we're gonna build a tavern. And by that I mean, I'm gonna have another thing that's saying it's working on being built, but not actually getting built uh, by the sheer number of things I've got going on. Oh good, we're getting piles of meat. Excellent. Can I upgrade any of these houses yet? No, because it needs stone. Or brick. All right, we'll build our house there. I'm gonna make this house a priority. Okay, so that's how many people to work on it, and that's whether or not it's a priority. You tell them to prioritize building the house, and they have a homeless person. I still need to be bringing in more people. Um, it does look like I'm filling up my storage. Wood with half, buy wood with half of your treasury, um, your treasury of six, or six each. 
So basically, I can buy an obnoxious amount of wood. I'm almost at the point of being able to buy the tavern, which will make people happy. We are getting more homeless people. Because the population is going up kind of on its own. That was a... Because it just did a 2M plank. Barely, and regret it. Two minute plank. Gotcha. I was like, two meter plank? That doesn't even make sense. Um... Show tech tree. Basic medicine, because we are actively dying right now. The upgrades tree. So are these two separate things? So, okay. So that's, I see. So I can upgrade my technology to advance stuff, or I can, like, to advance, like, my age from, like, medieval time or whatever to the next one. Or I can take what I already have and upgrade my, um... Like, upgrade my existing tech. So, like, either make what I already have better or get new things. That's kind of an interesting gimmick. So you can unlock more or, fix, you know, improve what you already have. We got a bunch of laborers, but not much in the way of builders. And that's because we're hurting on wood. I think I'll need another forestry. I don't have that available, do I? Alright, so we got the tavern. Oh, that's got a range to it. Um, that should bonus everything nearby. Um, I think I already have a beer brewer, don't I? Like, it's not built yet? Yeah, so I've got a beer brewer. I don't have a quarry yet, so I think that's the next thing we make, is we make the quarry. Uh, food, we're doing great. Stone, we're not doing good. Um, and so the quarry is 160. Alright, we got a person who just left because they're homeless. We got homeless people leaving the colony. Not super surprising. I'm trying to fix the problem, but I'm building too much, so my wood isn't actually doing things. Again, compare ourselves to our neighbors. So our neighbors haven't changed too much recently. Oh, I see. So they're, they're spreading out their stuff that requires, like, they're not, they're not doing like other games where you like hack down your forest and expand. Um, they're like putting out more satellite bases. Like you do in some games, you have like the, um, the foraging group and like the woodcutter, they'll be like just in the middle of the trees. Doing your trade post way out there. All right. Yeah, you mostly, most of your only production is that. Thank you, Burn and Sun One, for subscribing for 14 months. I have an important announcement to make. I win again. Rual strip, Rual strip, Rual strip. Thank you, Burning Sun, for the tier one sub. Oh, and Burning Sun has declared victory of Twitch, spending 1.4. Four one million points, million storage stocks to claim victory over all of Twitch. So congratulations on that victory. I need like I've I've wrote down so I gotta figure out where I have my notes for all this because I have notes of who has won. So I think that's the second victory Burning Sun has had. The first one was when it was way cheaper. <laughs> um, but geez. Um, 
We have Pank Raru who won. Yeah, there was, there was one more person who won. I don't remember who it was. I've got it noted here somewhere. Um, I don't think it's Sir Ice Mage. Um, I'll have to find the note. But yeah, no one no one has won since it's gone up. Yeah, someone else is early on with me. Yes. Yeah, okay, so it wasn't Sir Ice Mage. It wasn't Poity. It was definitely one of the ones like way earlier on. I've got, like I said, I got a sticky note here somewhere with it because I was going to do something for people who won and I never did come up with what that thing is. <laughs> Story of my life. No, not mustache rides. Maybe give winners a special role on Discord? I can see that. You don't you didn't even have anything implemented with the bot? No, it's one of like I mean honestly part of it's because it's one point four million points is like, yeah, no one's gonna claim that in a while. There's so many things I need to do that haven't gotten done. So it's looking like I feel like I'm doing better than uh Esteen or whatever it is over here because Esteen has two trading parts and then like their only their only thing that's bringing in materials is that fishing lodge so they're literally just trading and then farming and where they're farming is crap soil so I feel like I've got a pretty good edge on them the other the other ones all feel like they're absolutely destroying me There's so much stuff I want to get done that has been getting done. Um, fruit gatherer. Fruit from trees and bushes. Back to saving. See you again here. Traders are right. They want to trade goods. Excellent. Um, I am sitting on a big old heap of mushy mush. I would like your cash. So the fruit gatherer I'm going to put right next to the forestry because it's planting fruit trees. Uh, so that seems like a good one. <laughs> the employment bureau, I guess I will build down here. I wasn't expecting to build an employment bureau, but, you know, here we are. Um, so that gives us a whole lot of money. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. We've got a farm. So pass gets rid of the car, just for future reference. I want to save up for the second forestry to help with wood. Or no, wait, weren't we going to build a quarry? We can do a sheep ranch. Oh, mushroom log satur sterilization. Okay, so you're no longer doing that. Actually, I guess you are. Um, unlocked. You are now making medicine. Cool. Empor <laughs> Employment Bureau. Not a lot of bureaucracy in early settlements as, I as far as I know. You haven't seen my settlement. This place is hacking bureaucracy. You want to get that log? I expect 13 forms. The 13 forms are extra printed thick and they're not single page. That log requires less paper than the forms filled out to acquire the log. It's just the way it is.
Okay, so that will make people unhappy. Okay, so we did finally get a second house built. All right. Um we definitely steal money from an art player. We're still waiting to build our trade port because we don't have the stone. Set job priority? Okay. Alright, that's cool. So you can basically just here on one screen go, I want here's like, let me manage all of my jobs in one place. Cool. We'll uh, plan for future theft. I mean... Be cool. Okay, so there's a free reroll. I don't want to spend money on the other ones. I need more tools, which are waiting for stone there. Literally everything's stuck waiting on stone right now. Need more storage. And more there. You are freezing. I have 668 coal, man. If you're freezing, you're doing that to yourself. Because I don't have a shortage of houses. I don't have a shortage of heating implements. Like, that is, that is a self-inflicted problem. A population of 29, 34. Ahem. Have you ever considered... Have you ever considered being robbed? That person only has 29? I guess we're tied with them. Okay. Trying to wait patiently for stuff to build. Let's see. So increase productivity by two for every percent we have of happiness of that. That just gives us more. Um, is it worth building multiple of those? Most, most games, it's you build one and it's done. Either way, I'm stuck waiting on stone. Doesn't do me any good. And the only office that doesn't require stone is the immigration office. And I keep hearing a gonging noise, and I don't know what it's about. Make the quarry the priority. <laughs> oh, 
All right. Okay, so for the summary, we had one person who died of old age. We had 21 new people born, five people moved in. Oh, uh, we got a decent amount of money in research. Cool. I don't... I don't know what the cowbell sound means. Is many and someone has a fever? Gotcha. And the only prescription is more cowbell? I see. I see what you did there. I mean, we are getting cowbell. I don't know why. We are. I also don't know. I think this telling me when more people are going to arrive. I don't know. So people are getting upset about the lack of luxury and a lack of entertainment. Look, man. I have a tavern being built here somewhere. Where is that tavern? The tavern's being built here somewhere. I just need you to actually get to building it. I have a hunting lodge I can build down here too, but I already have enough being built. Forestry, I want that. Because of that. Can't tell what side the road comes off of it. There. Five hundred fish. Cooperative fishing. Everyone happiness above 60 gives production to fishing lot. There we got passion. Let's go ahead and put it on forestry. Because wood is absolutely killing us. And a lack of medicine is going to actually be killing us soon. So I haven't got any of those. Clear land. I'm thinking it's because the, um, Marley has died from sickness. I think what's happening is right now we're not making any meaningful progress because my tools are breaking, and instead of them working slower, it seems like when their tools go, that, um, 
maybe they don't work at all. No, that's not true, because they just cut a tree down there. They're just going way slower. Well, it's good to know. People think you are okay. Excellent. The people dying of sickness, that's fine. Okay. We're kind of just waiting for the wood to catch up. You fast forward a little bit more. So I am curious about the multiplayer interaction, because it does seem like it's going to let me scale up my city for a while before we start having to worry about neighbors getting uppity. It's going to be when we start rubbing borders that um, me and my neighbors are going to have, have words. Show tech, we can make pottery and furniture. Upgrades, we have farming techniques, quarry improvements, card inventory. Let's improve our quarry. Because we need to get that stone sorted out. So I want to get that done as soon as possible. Yes, I would like to steal gold. I'll pass in that one. So let's buy the gold. This is the highest population area. Give me your 200 gold. You got a net win of 122 gold. Now go here and say, give me your wood. I didn't even notice the wood. We went through it so fast. Um, we'll do the free reshuffle. Yeah, it feels like I don't have that many options for stuff. Let's try. Let's try getting a second trading port. I don't. Oh, I haven't used it yet. Ah, I wish I would have noticed that before I bought that. It's fine. It's fine, so get out of our inventory. Probably a waste, but whatever. The alternative is I would have passed, so... I got the tiny amount more wood that I would have had otherwise. Right, so it's finally getting built. And it may have been the play would be the trade port up immediately and then start selling whatever materials I didn't need. Which isn't an unusual thing for almost all this style of game. It's a very common strategy in these styles of games of just getting your trade port up and whatever you have extra of, sell it to buy whatever you don't have enough of. To smooth out your production. Yes, yeah, so we're not seeing new buildings, but I think the big reason we're not seeing new buildings is we're still, tech-wise, we're still back here. They need to get to the Middle Age. Okay, so Last Age is Industrial. We also have Enlightenment, and we got Medieval Age. So we're in the Dark Ages right now. Alright, so Trade, do you like coal? I feel like you like coal. Here's coal. Thank you for your 380 bucks. And they just passed in those other things. I probably shouldn't be passing them. I should probably literally just sit on them. Yeah, we'll sit on the next couple ones to keep up a wild card for when we get to um the next age in tech. 
we'll do that after our current one is we'll just go and up tech to the midi middle age. And then maybe what's happening to that far right player is maybe they're um maybe they're approaching it in the tech up because that's population. So they seem to be mostly increasing their population and getting food. Uh, so they might be just trying to like rush the technology kind of thing, but it's not as obvious versus the other ones are going more on the trade front. Yeah, Cyphobia, it looks it looks vaguely to me like it's it's a colony builder, but there's also like I'm not sure conquest is a word, but there is a a competitive end to it. Because I've got these two AIs and I've got that one over there. And so while we're on the map and I'm building out, eventually I'm gonna be rubbing up against them where I don't know if we fight each other or how it goes. Okay, so I need to build more storage. It's like, hey, you want to buy all this? You need to figure out where you're putting it. Um, fair. leave it alone so I can buy the wood but I can't because I don't have anywhere to put it and I need more wood before I can put it someplace all right well we almost got the quarry built and once I get that we'll start getting all these places that are waiting on stone built which will let us fix our tools We'll make the uh, the tools the next thing we build. Why why did you get built? I don't understand. I'm not against it, but I don't like why also did you get built? I literally have this up here set to be priority. That's the little star means. It's waiting on wood, which is the same thing that you two needed. All right, so our happiness is starting to improve. Well, that's because we're probably getting medicine in. Um, let's see. We had four people die of sickness. We had 26 people born. Cool. Hasten has been upgraded to level two. Okay, so two of the enemy factions have just you know, done research to hit the next tech tier. What What is the cowbell? I, I don't know. Like, I think it might be war- like, the cowbell might be that we don't have enough tools. Which, once this gets built, we'll be in much better shape for, you know, accommodating. Alright, to racing time? Yep. So, bear with me. Uh, we are getting to about to hit an ad break, so give me a moment because I'm going to go ahead and do this, switch to Nitro Racing, and hit that. Um, if we do this, that way people don't miss anything with the racing. Now, granted, with the City Builder, it's not as intense, but, you know, I still rounding up people have missed. miss. Uh, so, exclamation mark play to get in on the race. We got all that good stuff going on. It also works out because then I can finish my dinner while the race is going on. They did an update earlier today that did unlock the other maps that we were missing. Nitro Racer, like, Night Bro Racing, am I right? No. Uh, bit of a reach, but whatever. That's usually like, am I right? No. It's all good. 
Wait, exclamation mark. I need to actually choose a racetrack. My apologies. Exclamation mark play now. That's on me. Here I am like, type it in, guys. Everyone type it in. Come on, you need to type in play. And we're not even on the screen where you can do it. <laughs> Streamer trolling just a little bit unintentionally. What are people's thoughts on Kingdoms Reborn so far? It looks like a game that might be a lot of fun. Um, I feel like I made some mistakes in the setup for my city so far, which has dragged how fast it can go to build up, that the, the wood bottleneck is absolutely drowning us in progress. Um, but I'm curious what the interaction is when we start running into the other, other AIs. Like, there's clearly military in combat, so I am, I am curious on how that will be. I do like the idea of what's effectively banished, but with other cities you have to, you know, duke it out with. So it kind of has, like, the city settlement builder thing, but kind of has the 4X going on at the same time. Look, it says, if you don't build, you know, screw up, like, the first 10 settlements, it's not a city builder. If you don't screw up your first four, 10 empires, it's not a 4X. Yeah. All right, so we're going to do last call on the race. Last call on the race. If you want in, you need to do exclamation mark play or get on their website. And then we're going to go ahead and get things going because the idea is this takes the ad break and I don't want to go way over. Uh, so I think I'm giving enough time since that last call. So we are going to be starting the race. Yeah, and that's a, and that's a normal thing with city builders that you utterly fail your first city. or And it doesn't mean that they're not a city builder. It can sometimes be that is. I think you started the race before the ad break has finished yet. I don't think you've started the race before the ad break has finished yet. Yeah, I, I'm deliberately trying to keep the race during the ad break. Um, if you don't, if you're in an area there's not many ads, you might get out of the um, you might get out of the ad break before we start the race, because the ad break is technically three minutes, but um, if there's not enough ads to fit up the full time on Twitch, you'll just have less time. Or if they just, the amounts don't matter, right? Well, that's cool. They deliberately wall off the road. Yeah, you're probably in a location that's just not having many ads served to it right now. Which, you know, don't don't complain. Don't let anyone know. That's exactly what you want is the minimum number of ads. Which, like, a lot of places, like, I know, so there's some European countries that get hit with a lot of ads, and there's some that get almost none. And usually it's about how strict, like, your, um, your consumer protection laws are against, like, false advertising, and what can be advertised to who, like, you know, restrictions about what can be advertised to children, and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of stuff there. And then just the general markets in those areas. There's some places that you know, generally do you get a lot more ads just because they're seen as much bigger target customers. I do appreciate this map seems to have a bunch of random junk that gets on the road that it does just like snag everyone. So I actually kind of like that. A lot of the other tracks, if people aren't using their power ups, if someone gets far enough ahead in first, they just run the race away. But um, this isn't like the barricades being the lone car. You seem to get stuck on stuff and unable to go anywhere much longer. <laughs> Bop, he just unable to get past. I'm 
You got a bunch of power ups you can hit the uh, hit drift in the front with. Speaking of which. Yeah, everyone's throwing everything at that front bot. Oh, oh, it looked like Burning Sun did actually get drift and then immediately got lightninged. <laughs> Fire everything! I keep getting Megas faster than I can use them. I wonder if certain power-ups hit the vehicle in front of you and certain power-ups hit the front vehicle. I was like, I don't even know if I have one, I'm just typing it, that's fair. You have one. You do, in fact, have one, Ogoso. Yeah, it seems like the Pigeon Bomb always hits the first vehicle. The Banana Peels just get hucked somewhere in the map. Um, the Lightning one is the one that seems to be... Maybe it's a car directly in front of you. Maybe it's a random car. I, I haven't been able to figure that one out yet. So one thing I find interesting about this game idea is they could keep adding additional, like, megas and abilities and all that. That could do all sorts of- oh, it looks like, uh, Kraisk gets pulled into the front. That- we got a bunch of people leading up. Alright, well that's probably what's going on with Drift, is Drift got stuck in the, uh, stuck in the map. She was still in the lead, looks like they just spun out a moment ago. I see Boppity coming up fast. No! Fire everything! Fire it all! More! Yeah, you did it. Boppity got hit by like six things and Kraisk and she will for now ahead. Up, oh, Boppity is starting to catch back up. It does look like she wolf is winning. It's blinking blue, so I assume she will or sorry, Kraisk. Kraisk has won. I can read. Kraisk is taken first. Looks like she wolf's gonna get second. Uh Eugene oh, actually it looks like Eugenio's gonna get second. Then she wolf third. We successfully fired all of the missiles the moment they took the lead. So, Chad has taken all of the high-ranking positions, with Kraysk in first, Eugenio in second, She-Wolf in third, Burning Sun had the top speed of 139.43 kilometers per hour, as well as the most air travel at 213.56 meters, and no one cares about the bot, stu bot stuff. Bots don't have feelings. Um, so, let's go ahead and hop back over, and unpause. Yay, more people joining our city. I'm deliberately just continuing to choose this um this passion thing because it's a bunch of productivity and then to go with that productivity is happiness so it feels like just the move to get both I need more storage switch green please oh I'm sorry Alright, I should come back up in a moment. You didn't miss anything. They uh they gave us a choice of three things. It was like 20 per productivity, or I could get passion, which is 20%, you know, happiness and 15% productivity. Or the thing that's like for every percent over 60%, you can get 1% productivity. It's like, okay, that's great. If I keep my people maxed out, it'll be the best. But um getting a bunch of free happiness, pretty good. 
Like, we're just stuck waiting on wood. And I would buy the wood, but I'm getting more and more money, and I don't have the room to put the wood in, and it's becoming a real problem. Show tech tree. Middle age. I have to have ten houses. Well... Grumble, 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 angry noises. More wood per tree. Do it. Unless you wanted to watch just the nitro screen for an hour. That's the kind of thing that the paranoid side of me would be worried people would like just be lurking and not wanting to, you know, not wanting to stress me out by letting me know I'm doing it so no one would say anything for the full hour. And then when it finally, you know, I realize it, I just completely panic inside. Um... Just gonna let that tick down. And then we get the wild card. We'll see if there's any building types we're just straight up missing. Why are you putting wood there? Put the wood here. This is where I prioritize the wood. You'd only need three one more wood. Make it happen. Like, literally all of this stuff is not getting done because of wooden stone. And the wood's not getting or else because I'm trying to put it here so I can get my stone moving. Like, that's been the mistake this run, is I didn't... I've got too much stuff that's consuming wood that we're just kind of kind of dragging on with this. Like, I can't even increase the amount of storage capacity I have because it's waiting on on wood. Why are you building this? I mean, actually, I'm okay with you building the stockpile. Why are you not doing this up here? Do this here. Oh, good. You actually have all the wood there. I disregard my complaint. Can I do it now? Yes. Amount of storage capacity. Storage capacity, yep. I figured that joke has long, was like coming for a while, but. All right, wild card time. Let's say, so the wild card, um, yeah, so we built all of these things. The plan for another, that's fine. Oh, good. So I can, like, literally... Alright, so... The other factions are all out-teching me. Because I got stalled out so much on the wood. That, um... Like, literally, I've been sitting here just not making progress. So, we should have the quarry up here in a moment. And then once I have that, we'll be able to start building all of this other stuff. And it'll be good. Um, I'm gonna need another house built, so that's just what I'm gonna have to do... Because I have to build 10 houses to be able to uptech. Yes, build. Build, lady. Build, tiny, tiny lady. Um, yes, I would like to trade. Uh, take my fish. Why? There you go. I was like, why will you not trade? All right. What is that? Coconuts. At some point I collected some coconuts. Oh, upgrade for an extra worker slot. Man, upgrading a worker slot is 2,100. Being allowed to have one more worker 
at that place is the same price roughly as buying a whole extra territory. Those, uh, those wages have gotten away with us. People think you are okay. Ah, Thanks, everyone. Improved shift? Yes, right now. Oh, good. We're actually getting a small surplus of wood. It's amazing. I can drop the time back down to something more reasonable. Because now that means I'll finally have a surplus of wood, I can start building things again. Would you want more medicine farm? That's what I'm thinking. I was looking over here seeing what we're short on, the tools I'm waiting to be built. Um, the stone I've got coming in. Uh, so it'd be medicine farms probably be the next thing I build. Uh, ba -ba -bum, so farm. Some more medicine there. Because I also have to be careful because I'm actually a little bit short on the worker side. Uh, um... Oh, that's not... That's annoying that I can't actually build her. It's fine. It's that uh, it's like one tile slightly too small, so it won't let me. Okay, so we're getting more housing in. We've got a ridiculous amount of leather. But no consumption to speak of. Which I'm assuming we'll fix that once we uptech. Uh, when you put the farms... Does it show the quality of land before you plant? Yes. So if I go like this, I can mouse over. I've got some high quality land way up here, but it's not cleared yet. And I got some high quality land way down there. So we're building on some pretty mediocre land. But I haven't cleared this yet. And that's probably because this is ocean versus that is lake. And I, I don't really know why that one's better. Like maybe it's whatever this is supposed to signify the the darker water is something good. But we don't know. It does seem like the game has very, very little tutorial to it. That's just like build this building, build this building, build this building, set you know, set, you know, workers, but doesn't tell you how, and it goes, okay, goodbye. That said, it's not been particularly unintuitive or anything, so it's not I've not felt like there's some games where you sit there and you're like, I've got my supplies, how do how do? Like, it's just not intuitive. Um, I haven't run into any of that with this. And I think part of that is because you can only build, like, a couple buildings at a time as options. Um, that limitation makes it not as, as difficult. There's just not that many things to keep your attention on. Oh, man, your population is up there. It's telling me they have two warriors... I have nothing. They have two warriors. And they have two warriors. And everyone is just leaving me in the dust. Because I, I fell behind tech-wise. Because of the wood shortage. Because everyone's up tech because they have enough houses and I have not. And I'm trying to catch up, but you know... It is what it is. People dying of sickness. Checks out. 
yeah, so the big the big lesson here was earlier in the game, I need to not build as much stuff until my wood was secured and need to focus on the wood a lot more. Um, it may have been in my interest to, instead of just letting the forestry I did build, instead of letting it focus on prioritizing planting fruit trees, to just have cut it loose on whatever. I wonder if it tell me how many houses they even have. Okay, so I do have 10 houses now, so after this one I can start researching myself into the next higher up tech tree. Uh, start seeing if I can't play some catch up. And meanwhile we're just waiting for this to get more progress. Yeah, and it does have four workers. Oh, I didn't notice this. Resources left 20,000. Oh, that's no, uh, don't do that. Okay, so yeah, so that'll, uh, that mine will eventually run out. Which is pretty impressive to mine a entire mountain into non-existence to exhaust the material of the mountain. So if just flat 20 productivity percent consume less. I'm gonna do pro productivity. It's so like tech tree. Oh, to level two? Oh no, that's fine, whatever. Um we've definitely messed up in a lot of ways. Oh, right, I can just keep researching that one again and again. It just keeps improving that. Um, yeah, sure. Increase the productivity of our woodcutter. Desperately trying to get this stuff sorted and just hurting on wood and hurting on everything. Like I said, I think I think the problem was early game. I messed up in a big way resources wise. And now I'm being punished because I can't like I'm on the back foot trying to get things back in order. So like my lack of tools is slowing down my production, which is slowing down the rate I get wood, which is slowing down the rate I get stone, which is slowing down the rate I get medicine. And to get like the tools fixed, I need the stone. <laughs> It's just a whole thing. And they're building stuff down here as well. Does a charcoal plant consume wood? Yes. So I've closed it. Because I'm sitting on a heckin' lot of... Well, actually, we haven't recovered that much coal recently. Oh, um, we're not gaining much coal now. Um, that actually is a problem. Yeah, we're at a, we're at a net loss for coal. Um, that's deeply concerning. That means we're gonna run out of coal eventually. I think we're good for a little while longer, they're not gonna prioritize it. Um, because I think it might just be if I fix my tools that that might be enough to push me here. Oh, are you finally building the tool place? No, you're not. I got excited for nothing.
Yeah, I think I think everything right now is suffering that the lack of tools is probably heavily penalizing our productivity. And by having our productivity so badly penalized, like nothing's getting done, which is preventing me from getting my tools fixed. Um, that's stuff you run into with a lot of these style of games. Now, granted, one thing that's nice is I keep getting those things that give me 20% productivity increase and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's probably going to help. Okay. Ah, I see. So the way this seems to work is that work done... I have to get it to 100% and then it gives me 18. So it gives it it gives in like little little clumps. Oh good, we actually got some going going towards our tools. The downside is the tools require stone as an ongoing resource cuz they are stone tools. So that's lovely. I'll let this go a little longer and then we might switch it up because it does feel like right now I'm just kind of fast forwarding and then waiting and hoping things sort themselves out like I can't I can't realistically build more stuff because that's more materials I don't have that I'm waiting to get fixed because then we also have the other game the um the Islanders. that does remind me um let's see how could I do a key giveaway don't I have a thing here for that I do hate I do wish that a bunch of these things wouldn't wouldn't kill the music when you click out of them. Most of them was like a toggle, turn on and off. Um, and I didn't see one here for the audio that when you lose focus to keep your sound. So I do wish more games would give you the option to make sure you could do that. Because like streaming, it means that awkwardly everything goes silent when I click out of the window to do stuff. Um... I'm going to have to click out and just look in the other window. I'll do this. Turn on our music for a moment. I thought, can't I do a giveaway through this thing? Ah, uh, yada, yada, yada. Not that I see. Huh. I've done a key giveaway before, it's just been so long. Um, because I do have a spare key that the devs gave me to give out during the stream. I'm just trying to figure out what would be the best way to do the actual giving out of the key. Because I don't want to be just me randomly pick. Um, because then, you know, that can get into cold concerns of favoritism and all that. Give it to me and I'll handle it for you. Excellent choice. I see nothing wrong with this. Take the fish. Um, let me, let me again start the music for just a moment. Click out of here for a moment. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Winner of a race? I could see winner of a race. It is, it is as much RNG as anything else. Um, we have quite a while till the, uh, Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause the game for a minute, and this is going to be for a key. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to switch our screens, and we're going to bring up Nitro Racing, and we're going to put on Community Play. So this is this is versus each other. Well, there will be... Wait, actually, what? Everyone has the same odds uh, race with no boosts, no equipment, no upgrades. Okay. I don't know what that means. RNG and a race winner. So I think this mode, like, we're all on an equal playing play setting, no matter what we've done. Um, and we're just gonna leave it as Destruction Hour. Now we'll leave it at Destruction Desert. That seemed like the most fair one. Okay. If you would like the key to the game we have been playing, do exclamation mark play. If you do win the race and you're like, I don't want the key, that's fine. We'll just go to the next person until we get someone in there. Uh, there are no bots. There are no other thing else. Because it is, it is auto-joining people, I just realized. Um, but what I'll do is 
if you win the race and you're like, I don't want the game, like, let me know. Um, if you do want it, what I can do is I can either DM it to you through, uh, through Discord or I can DM it to you. Maybe I can DM it through Twitch. I'll figure out a way to get you the key. That's what will happen. But um, I'll give it like a good 30 seconds or so for everyone to get in here so that we got lag. So basically, um, right now it shows us 1235. I'll wait till it says 1237. And the reason is because I just don't know how long it is till 1236. But I uh, should get like a minute, minute and a half to get in here. So it's longer than I said. Um, but this is for a key of Kingdoms Reborn, uh, which is the game we're playing. The, uh, the sort of colony city builder sort of... 4x strategy game. We haven't seen how the combat is. Um, the like the playthrough I'm doing, I definitely definitely messed like made mistakes with my um my stuff. Oh, it was just we hit midnight, so I was getting my own video announced. I was like, what? But uh, so we'll, it should be any time now. We're gonna hit the 37 after. We'll do the race. Uh, the winner goes through here. I believe this mode. It says there's no boost. There's no anything else. So if you got a bunch of upgrades, too bad. Um, this is the giveaway race. So I think this is very specifically made with the intention that you like if you've been playing this whole bunch and there is any type of benefits, you are denied those. I don't know if you'll have megas or not. This is the first time we've messed with this race. But the point is, this is basically as RNG as a bunch of people rolling a dice anyways. So that like and maybe you can influence it with well timed megas. So it seems like a reasonable thing to do. Okay, the race is starting. So if you didn't get your name in. You're not gonna be able to get the key. That's fine, because the devs were kind enough to give me a spare key. And if you have the problems with the keys, let me know. I don't know what I'd do about it, but it'd be good to be able to go back and say, "Hey, your key was garbage." If that is the case. Um, and this one, I do think I'm going to follow the lead car, not teleport around. Okay, so off the line, we have Cyphobia in the lead. Uh, we are trading up between Burning Sun and Sentient Cookie and myself all of a sudden. I forgot I got myself added to the race automatically. Um, if I win, like I said, it'll just... I don't want the key, so it'll just go to the next person. I think it automatically joined me. Alright, so Burning Sun ran into a barrel, so now I'm in the lead with Sentient Cookie. We both peeled out, but I'm going to recover faster. Uh, so I am going to win the race, and I'm going to take the spare key, and I'm going to delete it. No, I'm teasing. Um... I'll just go to, like, whoever's next place. We'll just keep going until we find someone who wants the key. Um, I do have Burning Sun, who is apparently... I don't know if he's trying to pit maneuver me. Oh, he is. He is trying to pit maneuver me and has succeeded. And he did a dinosaur image over his head when he did it. Whatever that means. Uh, so Burning Sun is in the lead now. Um, I'm not seeing Megas, which I, I think might just be the nature of the giveaway mode, is maybe there are no Megas. Um, we do have Burning Sun in first, Cyophobia in second, a full turn behind... Uh, Sendy Cookie in third, uh, but might overcate Cyophobia now. He has. Um, and it looks like I'm scooting back there as well. Sendy Cookie and Cyophobia are basically taking each other out of the race by just beating up each other, trying to pass each other. Leaving Burning Sun completely uncontested in the front. Like, genuinely, the biggest concern Burning Sun has right now is running into the other cars, cutting across the middle. That's just so much of a lead. Almost half a track lead. Or, or just randomly running into the wall and turning around. I guess that's also a concern. The one time I win, when it really doesn't count. Alright, that looks like it. it. Burning Sun is going to win it. Alright, so I assume, do you, just double checking, you do want the key? Oh, I got a message on admin. Um, gotcha. Yep, I see your message. Nope, pass. Okay. Uh, and I don't want it. So, Cyphobia, do you want the key to the game? This the, the key the devs were kind enough to give us for the game. Because uh, I'd like to just get that knocked out. Because I can't go to the next screen. Let's see. I would use it, sure, unless someone really badly wants it instead. Okay. Well, I'm going to give it to you. Uh, I believe you're on the Discord. Well, that was the fastest somehow. You can get launched around. Like, we've seen some, like, get to, like, 2,000 meter... Like... Oh, are you? Yeah, you're just joining the Discord now? Yeah, no, you're on the Discord. I see you. Um, here's the key. Let me grab it from the email. 
for a moment I had that momentary panic wait going, am I on display capture as I would just potentially show the key? Yep. So, unless there's someone um, pretending to be you, you should have a message with the key. All right, so thank you. That was actually, I don't think that's a bad idea at all to do it that way. Um, because that seemed fair. I didn't have to figure out some new thing to set up in the middle of streaming. Um, and if the key, like I said, if the key gives me a problem, gives you a problem, let me know and I will let the devs know. I don't know if anything will come of that. But yeah. I don't usually have many keys to give out like that. Because, um, I have the Humble Bundle stuff. I don't think you're supposed to grab Humble Bundle keys and give them out. I think that's a no-no. I'd have to look at it. Marbles is also a good way. That's fair. That's true. I think that one's fun because people actually go back and forth on it versus like where you just do the thing where it just like rolls the dice and goes, and this person won. I think like the whole back and forth is fun, especially if it was like a key that people were really excited about. Like when Elden Ring dropped, if we had a spare key, I could see people really getting into that um, because I genuinely want it versus being like, okay, I'll check it out. Okay. It's not that that's the only time I've given out a key. Like, if the devs give me keys, I'll give them out. I think the most we've had is, I want to say there was, um... Oh, what game was it? There was one game way back where they gave me, like, four or five keys. Oh, and my audio got scuffed to my end, which I can fix real fast. You probably won't hear it. There, it's all fixed. No one is saying they're more excited than me. They'll see if it works. Yeah. I was like, I mean, I love these types of games, but I know you I'd sit here not playing it until it got old. Yeah. And he says, I mean, I bought the Humble Bundles. I'm pretty sure I can do whatever I want with them, other than reselling them, because I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Yeah, that's the thing I gotta check. Well, I, I don't think, I can't remember if it was, I'll have to double check on it. It's not like a huge, huge thing. Um... Oh my god, just please build this. Okay, finally we're getting our tool place. My hope is that once we get this built, that we're going to start seeing some significant recovery in things going on with this. Because um, I'm in that weird spot where if I was like, okay, like this game is too slow for me to keep streaming kind of thing, if I wanted to switch, it's also feeling like it's getting a little late. I need, I need the tools to not be a problem, so I stop hearing the cowbell. Because I'm pretty sure that is. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, like I said, it's something I'd check out. Okay, so you need wood and... Hmm. It's fine. As I get tools, it'll start speeding up my production. And as my production speeds up, it'll start solving a bunch of those problems. It'll be fine. Have you done a stream gift where I can um, just gift the game to someone? Yeah. It worked cool, cool. I figured it probably would. Joe Tech Tree. I want, but I can't have. Just keep upgrading the trees. Gotcha. I probably need to look into it, because I got a... Oh, man, I got so many keys I can give out that way. Yeah, and I've gifted out the games to be before. In Project Zomboid, when he last gave me a thing. Yeah, no, I've um, I've absolutely given Humble Keys away. Like, not, not on stream, but to, like, friends and that that I... Or, you know, even people, it's like, hey, this is a game I want to play um, with you at some point. Here's the key to it. Because I already own it and Humble Bundle gave me another. I've done that kind of thing. Because I'm not against doing the giveaway kind of thing. Now, granted, with Humble Bundle, you know, like, the games I really want, I'm just going to take. Because that's the thing. All right, thank you, Iggy Maid. Where's his role? You just do it through Discord events. That's not that you could do on stream. Yeah, I have like that's the thing. I just have to look into it. There, a pay forward. Passion. Hey, uh, Pancake, how's it going?
Thank you Sheerphobia for subscribing for 4 months. Shocked face. Thank you Sciphobia for the tier 1 sub. That's 4 months you've been subbed to Chow. So I really do appreciate that. Uh, we do appreciate that. Um, so I do hope you're enjoying your advertising free viewing as well as access to the emotes. So thank you again for that support. Uh, do I, will I be playing Diablo 4? I'm probably going to be a little bit in the wait and sees on that. Um, I've definitely liked the Diablos of the past, but between when they released Diablo 3, which when they released it was fine, uh, Blizzard's done a lot of stuff that I'm not really okay with. And then with how they handled, um, Diablo Immortal, I'm very, very concerned that Diablo 4 is going to end up being microtransaction heavy and pay to win. I could be wrong. But my trust in Blizzard is about as bottom barrel as it could get right now. And I want to see what their um I wanna see I wanna basically see what the situation is there before I buy in kind of thing. Because it's gonna be a purchased game. And I'm gonna be real salty if I buy the game and then they turn around and they're like, and by the way, super duper MTX fill. So I am, I am very cautious with uh, Diablo 4. That said, if it does end up not being that, like, pay-to-win kind of thing, not being, like, super microtransaction heavy, I'll absolutely pick it up. But, um, I definitely, like, I, I haven't pre-ordered anything in ages. Um, have I heard about Stormgate? Stormgate. It's not ringing any bells. And the way, and by the way, Diablo Immortal, whatever was this heck of a bad game was. Oh yeah, like I heard from people who played Diablo Immortal that like in a lot of ways it was a good game. And like if they if they got rid of all the MTX crap from it, it would actually be a really fun and engaging game. But they literally made it so so much of it you basically had to pay money for. You know, Stormgate's a game you want to see me play, like, or to look at. You, uh, if you or someone else can post on the Discord. Um, and that's just so I have, like, one place to look for all the game recommendations, because otherwise I won't remember. By the time stream's over, I'll just simply forget. I feel like my tool situation is getting better, because I'm seeing less tool icons, but I'm still seeing a lot of them. Um, I was just curious if you heard about it. Supposedly the StarCraft devs in a new company making a new RTS. Gotcha. I wouldn't be against doing an RTS. It's been ages since I played a proper RTS. I used to play the crap out of them. One of my one of the first game obsessions I had was a game called Dark Rain. Like way back. We're talking predated Red Alert and all that kind of stuff. At least I believe it predates Red Alert. And we're talking loaded up in DOS way back. And one of the downsides is they didn't throttle the game based on your CPU. Or, like, they didn't throttle the game so it would go as fast as CPU could handle. So you have to do a lot of hackery to make it play right nowadays. Dark Rain is great. So many quality of life features that were never made in later games. I know, right? Like, that's before people, like, were even remotely talking about quality of light stuff. And one of the fun things you do with Dark Rain versus so many others is Dark Rain didn't do a whole bunch of, like, hackery around the game to like keep people from like stealing assets or whatever like that so you could literally go into i can't remember if they're ini files or what what the text files they were text files that would decide like what graphic a unit used what their stats were and all that stuff so it was one of like the first games i'd ever seen that you could actually mod like that was a thing and all it was was you know you'd do this mod and it would just you'd go open up these text files and you'd paste in the unit into that text file and then it'd have like a graphic you drop in the right folder. And I remember doing all sorts of silly stuff with that. Alright. I don't have a use for the leather and it seems to be worth a decent amount, so... Give me money.
I'm supposedly producing... Oh, right, because I'm building things. I was like, I'm supposedly producing 40 stone and only consuming 10, yet I'm not getting more. It's like, oh, right, yes. That actually does check out. Make more storage because we're starting to run. We're, we're out of storage. That's the problem. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, all right. <laughs> Joke's getting a little stale. Xander says you can get it to run. Oh yeah, no, I um, it wasn't this computer; it was a computer before this. I actually, was like, oh what? You know, it's like I remember Dark Rain. I wonder how like it stands up to nowadays. And I did manage to get like DOS box loaded up and everything, and I put it on there, and just I started the map, and I instantly had the game over screen. And I had to like go back and figure out what the heck happened, and it was literally a single enemy unit walked into my base and systematically went through and destroyed every single building and every single unit. And it was like the weakest unit in the game, but because of how fast the game was running, it all happened in like a half of a second. I was like, okay, I need to slow this thing down. <laughs> and then just going into the whole like there was entire processes you'd have to go into to like effectively throttle your CPU to just the game and all sorts of like shenanigans. I'm like, okay, hang on, I'm just not that interested. It's like I loved this game when I'm younger, but man, it is not worth this level of effort. Yeah, that happened with a Deuce X game. Really, as late as Deuce X was, because the original Deuce X wasn't that that early on. Like that would be around the time frame of what Half Life Two. Back was hard to force a single process. Back was hard to force single process of core use. Well, most most games um won't uh won't use multiple cores. They'll only run on one core. Like that's actually a problem we still run into nowadays. Is people get processors with like you know four, eight, like twelve cores and them twenty cores, whatever, twenty four cores in them or whatever. I don't know what they're up to now. Um, but the game will still just use one, maybe two cores. That they'll have like their primary thread and they might offload stuff to one other one other core. There's only I mean it's getting better. There are getting more games that will, but even then, usually at the most only go like maybe two to four cores. It's one of the things that becomes kind of a an annoyance. That um when it comes to these processes that do have like ten cores, some odd threads, they're better for multitasking. They're not better for like running the game well like they're better for having like the game the browser and like three other things going than the game itself being able to take advantage of it and minecraft still uses one thread yep that's that's not that unusual in games nowadays like it is very rare that games will ha like be multi-threaded any meaningful like they'll usually have again like their primary thread and their secondary thread like, they'll have, like, one thread that's, like, all the game logic and a second thread that's doing, like, you know, what should be rendered where and all that, then pass it off the GPU. It says, for gaming performance, you really want to look at a high single core performance. Yeah, it's just, how many gigahertz is it? Bigger number. Um, and then you also have stuff like L1 cache and L2 cache and all that kind of stuff can be meaningful as well. But yeah, games, games, there's not many games. There are some, but there are not many games that, that multi-core well. And most of them, like I said, they do kind of only cover one or two cores that they can handle well. Or sorry, one, yeah, like two, two or three cores that they handle well. It's very rare you get something that goes more than that. And to be fair, a lot of games that do multi-thread, if they do try and do like some really creative stuff, end up being very bug-prone. Because you're gonna run into a lot more problems with it. Uh, running any type of asynchronous code, you uh, you have to be like there's a much higher level of caution you have to take into how you approach it to avoid various bugs. Where this thread's doing this thing, this thread's doing this thing. You figure out some way to get the second thread to hang, you know, which then you know puts things out of sync, and then you can get all sorts of stuff. All right. So we're making tools, 
And they are recovering. But it sure doesn't feel like it. And our population is going up. Oh good, they got an exile of houses. Our wood is our wood is finally being solved. The downside is, um, while our wood is being solved, our coal is going down very rapidly. And then you try and debug and everything magically works because the threads are all synced up differently than when the crash happens. Oh yeah. I I hate having to debug um asynchronous code. Like you gotta do what you gotta do. But it gets rough sometimes. There is a not a programmer, but only debugging into his factory. Yeah, so imagine you're trying to debug your factory or factory. They keep getting these like choke points. You're trying to really see like what's causing, like what what is causing part of your factory like shut down, turn on, shut down, turn on, shut down, turn on. But the act of going over and observing it doing that causes it to stop doing it. So you can't really like figuring out what's actually causing it to be the problem is just really difficult because when watched, it doesn't do it anymore. And it's infuriating. <laughs> And that the things you're trying to watch are in like three different places at the same time that you can't really watch them all simultaneously. But if you go to any one of them to start watching closely, that it stops being a problem. That's asynchronous debugging. And it just has to do with like when you're debugging, how the tools work, that the usage of the tools causes a timing difference and that timing difference, you know, causes the bug to go away. And it's super frustrating to try and figure out. It doesn't always happen that way. It's just those once in a long while bugs. Those are the ones that have you ripping your hair out. Okay, so we've installed for a while. Let's see how much... What? Oh, minor city. Yeah, so it definitely looks like they're way ahead of me tech-wise. Like, their place all looks fancy as all get out. Oh, you're talking about the biters? Yeah, no, um, I'm not, this isn't a comment towards, like, Factorio code. It's trying to, like, make an analogy of debugging asynchronous code, but using Factorio as, as a thing. Yeah, they also look way better than mine does. I don't see them producing medicine, though, which makes me curious if this is one of those games that, um, wink, wink, nudge, nudge balances. A lot of, um, real-time strategy games are notorious for that, too. Like, I, I don't see what your production is that you're doing so much better. Like, their population is exploding. Like, they're building a whole extra segment here. But I don't see what their their money source... Oh, they're literally losing 100 money or 100 something money per turn. Okay, so they're going to the strategy of they sold a bunch of stuff and they're going bankrupt. Well, actually, but their money's going up. It's this thing, maybe? Maybe maybe that is part of their territory? They're doing something for a lot of money. It's probably whatever those trade ports do. Because supposedly they have a horrifically negative budget. Yet they're making money. Brandon, so that's the beauty of Factorio. Play in peaceful mode, and you can screw up and take as long as you want. Yeah. Factorio, as long as you're not doing some, like, really, really sweaty biter stuff, it is one of those games that you can just continue to play, and, like, there, there isn't a lose condition. Because the map infinitely grows. You can just keep expanding, 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 until you get what you want.
So we can get to the iron deposit there. I think doing it had a hell of a sweet biter, biter setting, as having many, many, many lasers. Yeah, it's usually around, I would say the th place I feel like people get stuck on the complexity is when you get to the, um, the liquid production. It's not, it's not that bad, but yeah. We have unlocked the iron mine, but I can't use iron yet, so I'm not that worried about it. Well, it's not bad. It's unfun. I don't like the liquid stuff. Yeah, no, there's, that's, there's a lot of people the same way that they get to liquid stuff. They're like, this is a chore. Um, that's um, when I was playing multiplayer with like random friends. It's usually around the liquid stuff that people either got really into it or really not into it. Produce a thousand beer. Absolutely. There's like a wall at the liquid handling. Yeah, it's just um because of the nature of what goes into the liquid, there's just there's not a way to do it kind of like simple. There's just a lot of pieces that kind of all drop on you at once. I don't think it's like badly implemented. I think it's actually very well implemented. But um, it is it is one well of those jumps. I'd say another big jump is doing the stuff with the trains, but at least with the trains, at a minimum, you can say point A, point B, straight track. And it's not too bad. But then the moment you start bringing the signals into it, that's, um, that's difficult. Yeah, and trains are optional. Correct. So trade. Okay. So I can go over here. I didn't realize I had oranges. Well done. First house level two. What? But I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't build it. What? I didn't upgrade a house. I'm so confused. I didn't. I didn't do the thing that I need to continue that. Oh, they need luxury items. I've been sitting here looking at, like, the insulation and all that. So I'm starting to get extra stones. Let's start doing that. So I need luxury items. You finish your SE game without trains and logi bots? Um, they're optional if you want them to be optional. Yeah. I'm now losing money every turn. We have trading ports, I mean, it'll just dump stuff out in the market real fast. Okay, it looks like our stone tools are solved. We are slowly building up stone and wood and all that, and I'm using that to gradually upgrade stuff. Um, our medicine is still not where it should be. I wonder, do you know about the game, the ancient game Knights and Merchants? Uh, it doesn't ring a bell. But it's also possible, I just don't remember by name that like you were like, oh, it's a game where you can do this and be like, oh yeah. Okay, so it looks like these are very expensive. 
I say as I suddenly realize I can't actually do the thing that reduces their upkeep. Well, that's annoying. I can't do that to the tavern either. Improved the upkeep here. Okay, cool. We'll just do that. Oh, I just realized we got ourselves the next ad break, so let's go ahead and get Nitro Racing back up here. Uh, so we'll do a new race. Um, we haven't done the Casinoopolis. So, wait, one second. I'm sorry, we're in the wrong mode. There we go. Casinoopolis. My apologies. Go ahead and exclamation mark play again to get in here. My bad. Um, it's older than Steam. Yeah. Then released 1990. Well, I mean, I played plenty of games that predate Windows. So, I mean, that's like 1990 is not that far back for me. All right, we'll give it a couple more seconds for people to get in here because the ad break is already in session. Uh, then I'm going to start the race. And then once we get in the race, then, you know, I'm going to actually mute my mic for a minute, uh, stand up, stretch my legs and all that, and I will be back in a minute because that's part of the reason I'm liking that we have the slightly longer ad breaks. When I say longer, it's fewer longer ad breaks instead of more shorter ones. The time total time in seeing ads is the same. It's three minutes between what it was and what it is now. All right, but first, I want to make sure I get the camera set on people. Okay, and I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Oh look, I'm winning. I always like it when I'm winning. Burning, <laughs> sorry, burning sun with his swift and inevitable betrayal, banana storming me, and then getting knocked off the course probably by Krisk. I I like how many of these courses they crisscross in the middle to just cause absolute anarchy.
uh, I was gonna say, it's like, um, just sitting off the side of the course there, buddy, you're like, I'm done. I don't want to be part of this anymore. Okay. I have a feeling that Wild Onion's gonna end up taking the win. Can't tell if it's slow motion because someone won or it's just rough. Yeah, it is. But it did seem like Wild Onion did win the the race. All right. So Sendigo got second place. I got third place. Tremex had the top speed at 171.17 kilometers uh, per hour. Um, for the airtime, we had Sunday Cookie with 314.93 meters. I hit the most bananas at 12, and Grande Clayson had the most car crashes at 27. Or hit the most cars, I should say. Okay. <laughs> hey, I got you the most bananas, so you're welcome. Awesome. So, produce a bunch of beer, grow the population, um, trade lots. Those are my current objectives. Uh, my food is doing extremely well, so I don't have to worry about the food at all for the time being. More of an immediate concern is the housing. These sort of bananas are the worst power. Bananas and beer, neat. I mean, I've heard of worse. Oh, sorry. All you missed was I placed two houses right here. That's all I missed. All you missed. Okay. So we get a rare card. You know, like beard? That's fine. The fact that, like, once you get going, you end up with so many wild cards. Because you just can't afford to do everything you need to do. Um, makes it a lot less of a big deal. Like, we're worried about, like, having, like, being stuck with just what the cards are. It kind of, like, makes it a moot point because you just get everything. <laughs> Now, granted, that might be because I'm at this. Oh, I'm my stockpile is full as again. I like wine. I should say I like certain wine. Like I don't want everything. But, um, there's definitely ones I enjoy. You prefer mead? Fair enough. Oh, good. We finally have spare medicine. We have spare tools. There's nothing here that's in the negatives. 
I love my wine. Sometimes I have a bit too much wine. Yeah. So what are what are the luxury items? Beer. We can have beer, cannabis, furniture, pottery, tulips. I see. So I just need to go and get these other things. All right. So I thought when it was tech two, my my brain was saying I just need to do the upgrade on this, which was not what it was. And I'm trying to do all these upgrades to reduce the amount of fuel they're consuming. The good news is it does seem like... Okay, so I only need one. So as we produce more beer, we should be good. Pretty good things, beer, furniture, and cannabis. I'm I'm just amused that like cannabis is one of the ones for like um, like we're technically in the dark ages. So we're not even medieval times, we're dark ages right now. What's the end game date? It uh it doesn't have a thing, it's just dark, it's just like this. But if we go to our tech tree, I mean actually, don't they depict as like an ace ages skirt, but we're saying it's like the dark age. Like, there's nothing wrong with it, it's just surprising that's a thing they depicted. Can't you make a furniture building? I have to unlock it with tech. I've been I've been just increasing my wood production, and now our wood production is actually in a really good place. Um, I do not know if that's even a thing that we have a choice of. You apologize you're drunk. It happens. You're at 76 and your military is way more than mine. Considering I actually don't have a military yet. I guess I should have more than no military. No military does not feel like enough military. When everyone else has a military. <laughs> about is a drunk Monday night. I mean, it happens. So as soon as we get the forest technology built up, I'm gonna start working on the um, the pottery and all that. All right, so I need more money to do that. Okay, show tech. All right, so it's going to require more materials than I have, so we'll make the furniture first because I have all the materials I need for furniture. Your, uh, your country's provincial elections happened, so fun parties because 10 different parties did a thing. Cool, cool. We got a bunch of mushrooms to sell because I'm getting too many. I probably need more trade ports and to upgrade the trade ports. That was important. I mean, I, I am selling stuff. <laughs> I need to sell pork too as well. You are correct. Yeah, I, I've got too much of all the food. And I probably could just literally turn these things off. 
But I'm like, but hear me out. You could have it all. Besides, what what speaks to a better place than just having l giant lumps of meat everywhere you go? Just giant, entire, like, pallets of meat everywhere. <laughs> just everywhere you go, there's just more meat. Yeah, that's what we need, is we need, like, a lot of games where you can so, you know, increase food consumption by some ridiculous amount temporarily. But, um, when you do that, then, um... Like, it, you know, you get, like, all sorts of bonus, to, like, happiness or whatever. Passion. Done. Go tech tree, pottery, okay, cool. Furniture workshop, excellent. Um, where the heck am I putting this stuff? Okay. Logically, more food means peace. Yeah. Why do you need food? Because people gotta eat. Otherwise, they, they do the die. And I'm led to believe doing the die is not a good time. Bad food means more alcohol. Uh, you probably don't want to ferment pork if you're trying to make drinks. Uh, keep it, keep it to your grains and your fruits. Sometimes vegetables. Um, fer fermenting meat sounds like a real bad way of getting food poisoning. And I'm sure there'll be plenty of people like, well, actually, you can ferment this kind of meat and it's perfectly fine. And it probably is. But also still gross. We've unlocked vassalization. Oh, good. I've always wanted to vassalize. <laughs> Bed obsession. <laughs> I googled. I concur. Yeah. Because really all that fermenting is, is it's basically taking, you know, whether it's yeast or whatever, like taking something like bacteria to eat all the sugar and produce the alcohol as a byproduct. But um, when the thing they're breaking down is meat, which is what we're made out of. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's not. Oh, good. We're finally entering the Middle Ages. Must be built towards a river or an oasis. Hey, BBTF, how's it going? We're gonna do pottery. It seems only appropriate I put the pottery right next to the clay pit. And we'll put storage right here. We got people getting sick again. Hopefully there should be, probably. Yeah, I know that feeling. So it definitely seems like once I got the um, the stone and all that sorted, that things picked up a lot, which is what I was kind of hoping. Um, we do seem to be probably getting pretty close to the limits of what my um, my one stone pool place can make. Um, I can do a free reroll. It's fine. I'm already building the workshop, right? 
sell more pork because I have too much. I kind of wish this game had almost like the equivalent of trade routes where you could just sit there and say, okay, as available, trade the pork away. Or like, if I go over this cap, you know, just start trading stuff away kind of thing. Yeah, running out of tools. Actually, we're out of tools again. Like, all the tools just vaporized at the same time. Yeah, so slightly higher consumption of tools than I have production. Uh, which does mean we're going to wild card it. And... Get more stone tools coming. It does seem like one of the things to potentially do... Oh, we can train our unit? It does seem like one of the things to do when it comes to the buildings is to figure out like what two, or three, four, five things need to go together and put them together. Which isn't surprising, that's not an unusual thing for these styles of games. Yeah, that's what that cowbell means, is that cowbell means I need more tools. I kind of wish it was a little bit more obvious about it. Like, that, that you need more tools, like, that's what it's trying to tell you. Because I kept hearing it making all sorts of noise, I'm like, is that what it is? Many of your buildings will now be upgraded to the new era. Alright, so... Farm productivity is what I'm going to do. Um, choose another area bonus. We can have better blacksmiths or better... We're going to make liquor. You've unlocked a wild card. Okay. Tech tree. Um... We'll start getting ironworking going. That didn't get us directly any new buildings. We will unlock a bunch of new buildings with tech, though. Trade. Fork. Trade. Fork. Increase how much I can carry. Help people dying of old age. Keep your eye out for a medicine workshop. Yeah, like I've got, I've got another farm for medicine being built to try and get that sorted. But yeah, struggling. Iron mine is open. Yeah. Oh, actually, I forgot. I got the iron mine earlier. Um, we just didn't build it because it's already hurting us up. And we have iron as up here. Okay. Get her medical herb and the actual medicine more efficiently? Gotcha. Alright, so we had a bunch we had a couple people die of old age and we massively increased our population.
The good news is we'll probably be able to get iron tools, which I'm assuming will be better productivity-wise and they'll last longer. And if we get that, then I could probably start getting rid of the stone tools. I'll more than likely get a tailor as well to use something with all this leather. I probably should make yet another trade port. My only complaint is the trade ports are a bit laborious in this game, and then I have to keep going back and checking and being like, ah, let me click on it. They might give us something to make this faster later, but right now it does feel like I'm just running down here. Oh, that'll help. And trade way more per go now. I got the Companies Act? I don't know what that is. Oh, you're not upgrade right. Fashion. Yay. Alright, show the tech tree. Tailor. Done. Technologies prereqs not meds. We're satisfied with prereqs. Five houses level three. Grr. Um, brickworks. Yeah, it seems like winter... I mean, I'm fast-forwarding a lot, so it does seem like we're in winter a lot. I mean, part of it is I'm also very far north, so I'm probably closer to the pole and all that. That's probably not helping. An iron smelter. Well, one would assume I should put the iron smelter near the iron. I'm also assuming you're going to need to build houses out here soon. Can you really claim... Uh, reclaim land for the scene in this game? I don't think so. Maybe maybe way later tech, but I I kind of doubt it. It doesn't feel like that kind of game. Trade fees for each mining company is reduced. Um, I don't think that's that big a deal, though, because honestly, I've had enough things I've had to manage. Yeah, because you, like, you look at it, and I control just that little area. We go all the way over here. They control a big area up here. And we got this area that controls them, and that controls them. Conquer? Vassalize? They have three warriors. They have one swordsman and two archers. They have one swordsman and two archers. I'm going to start building some houses up here. Uh, you're probably a material I care about, aren't you? So we need more medicine. We need more stone. We need more lots of things. Interesting that I can't actually expand that territory. Alright, border protection. Gives Providence is three. 
gives protected providences three more times income. Um, unlocks the library, unlocks logistics, unlocks potatoes. Um, we have a blacksmith. And we can build a fort. I'm going to choose that because... I don't know when we're going to have that. So Brickworks makes clay into coal. And our clay is not being mined yet. Is over here. We're working on it. That could take forever to make that. The 120 stone for the the brickworks. Ow. And that population is just exploding. Like, completely out of control exploding. Is... Is Tomb sleepy? No. Sleepy Tomb. Yeah, she does that. I don't know why. Eh. He was back going, Sleepy Tomb is old. Population 72. Alright, so we're not too far off from the ours. Like, we fell behind in a big way when I was running, was having difficulty keeping wood and stone and everything else in place. Well, if you're too old to do silly voice anymore, then what's even the point? I'm not sure if they can hear you at all, which is fine. I'm gonna go with the idea of just claiming territory at this point. You just hear muffled chaos? Excellent. Need input. Need input, Stephanie. I'm guessing there's like three people who get that reference. <laughs> Reassemble, Stephanie. <laughs> no, no disassemble. Disassemble, bad. <laughs> That is going back always. Not enough input resource. So I'm just running out of stone. That's the real problem here. Um, which I could probably just upgrade that by just straight using cache. That's all we need is cache. I'd build the gold mine, but it requires a whole bunch of stone. And it is way... I think it's that hill? That is that the gold hill? That actually works as a spot. How far away is that from us? I mean, that's a long ways away. We definitely want to do that not super late. I don't seem to see any punishment, like literally claiming more zones just gives me, like, I'm, I'm getting like a trickle income from just owning this tile even with like literally nothing there. Um, so it does seem like just claiming providence, like provinces, it's like, okay, sure, I'll claim that, that's fine. The only people who died were from old age. I 
I guess I don't need another one because trading these at 300 a, 300 to go is uh is really heckin' lucrative. Yeah, so we're just aggressively expanding our territory right now. I'm just kind of waiting for everything else to build in the meantime. Once they get built, then I'll start worrying about trying to expand more stuff. For productivity. Let's... At the moment, I don't seem to have that many spare workers, and all the people without tools are killing us. Um, right, because I'm building this over here, which is taking 120 stone. That's the thing. I need to allow the stone and wood to be a buffer. Hey, we got our first house at level 3. Uh, what? Because I imagine it's three luxuries to do it. Oh, I can make a lot more brewers. That'll be good. Um, we have logistics. We got potatoes. We'll go ahead and make the potatoes happen. We got a free fort card. Prevent raid in nearby provinces. Gotcha. So it's saying I can build a choke point and it'll protect inside provinces. So if I build it here, all the provinces this way get protected. And then if I build it... Oh man, can I get all the way down there? I, don't... I guess we could get all the way down there. I could build a fort and protect all the inside provinces. That's kind of cool, actually. It requires some heckin' money, though. I think we're going to start pushing west as fast as we can towards claiming that area to put the fort on that side. Or we start coming back the other way. Oh, right. I was going to upgrade. Oh, no. I already did the upgrade on you. Okay. Well, if I get you producing enough stone that we have stone to spare, then I could use the stone to upgrade the stone. Oh good, and they finished the brickworks, which is the thing that was absolutely killing our uh our stone there. I've got some uh got some good stuff there. So it should start getting our wet or um our tools back in order. We do need more housing. Which you've already got on the agenda to do, that just hasn't happened yet. Still hurting on medicine. Oh, I should actually check. Do we have... Is any of this area got good farmland? Oh, you're basically all good farmland up there.
Medicine. Hopefully they'll finally bring an end to our medicine problems. Like maybe we'll do is after that it'll shut down like one of these farms down here. They're in the really poor quality area. And focus on all the medicine production up there. Joe Tech Tree. They're the blacksmith. And a vodka distillery. And then we'll make some bees after that. Um, but I also came to the realization as I need more brewers. It says wheat into beer, but I saw more options listed there. Let's go up here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose a stockpile there. Because then up here somewhere I could go ahead and build the potato farm. And then we can start getting vodka. Yeah, but if I get this region, I build the fort here, then I've got all that closed off. Fashion. Okay. Alright, so at least you're producing now. And then all of these are waiting on clay to make both the pottery and all the other stuff. Yeah, I got some people who end up homeless because I'm still trying to build houses. I do wonder over time if you end up with like, this really far sprawl. Or if you will end up with stuff getting like really... Because these are like really densely packed here. They're up to houses level 4 on this one. You're not taking much territory. You're just kind of building up. I'm definitely still behind on the tech front. Considering I'm working on houses level 3 and they're all on houses tech level 4. But I am definitely going way more aggressively than I was so far as upgrading stuff and moving along and all that kind of things. Like right now the problem I'm dealing with is just not enough workers. And not enough tools. Which I'm trying to fix the tools, which our stone is finally catching up. Um, my hope is pretty soon we'll be able to make um, iron tools and then stone tools become irrelevant. Uh, 15 for a wild card? Yes. Oh, okay. Like 15 for a card that lets me choose anything I want to build? Yes. Sure. Game? I can't tell what you're doing. You're still saying you're under construction, but we're not building a thing. Yeah, so definitely say the one negative I have is 
and this is not just this game. Uh, the whole trade thing, where you have to like manually go in here again and again and do this, like it's so incredibly powerful. You just want to do it, because like just being able to you know magically go up to like five thousand currency like that, and just boom, another providence is claimed. It's very powerful, but is laborious and not like in a fun way. Like you're just you just clicking it up. So I kind of wish I could either go here and say, you know, keep repeating this thing, or I kind of wish. What well, what? Well, there's other games where you'd say like, if I have more than this of a thing, try and sell it when able. Um, and you kind of do that. Like you set caps on production. I wish I had that, just to make it so I don't have to like manually go to these things. An iron smelter. You make paradoxes UI. Paradox has games that have functionality like that. Not all of them. Like Stellar. I don't even know it's Stellar's UI that looks like anymore, and that's one of the things that's kept me from going back to it, is I pull it up and like, this game doesn't look like anything I remember. Not that it's good or bad or something. I just am not prepared to put the time into relearn the game I already spent the past time learning. Yeah, the UI. No, I gotcha. I, I am familiar with what a UI is. Alright, so I'm assuming the blacksmith will give me better tools. Alright, that's fine. I go... The whole army of wild cards. It it feels like I don't know what's going on with this. It just feels like this isn't ever being built. Like it's got the materials to do that. It's supposed oh it, it did finally like literally I clicked I got built. Okay, cool. Well, hopefully that means my clay starts getting in order. So then the question is, if I build the fort way over here... So that fort is now producing a protection income of 102, because it's protecting three provinces. So it's protecting all of these. Yeah, so it actually looks like if I claim this region, that'll become a choke point for all that. And then theory, we should have everything. It also feels like the game is like, get production going as like production of literally anything going as fast as you can, like just volume-wise as fast as you can, and gives me trade locations up. Well, that's interesting. It's acting like I can't even... Oh, am I literally completely detached from the rest of the world? Like, there's just this route? Can I, can I just not reach them on this side? Not be claimed through mountain or sea. But that in theory means this is my only choke point. Guess put a fort over on this side just because. Alright, still working on those houses. 
Like that's that's holding me up because I can't really get more workers. Because I need 70 something workers. I can't get more workers until I get more people. I can't get more people until I get some of that sorted. All right, medicine seems to be in a good place now. Mark these as priority. So our population can still keep increasing. You know what this arrow means? Does that tell me what houses people come from? Oh yeah, so this is saying this house, it has workers here and here, and that's just telling me where those people live. Um, that one we don't have workers for. Which isn't super surprising. Because our houses aren't getting done in time. Yeah, it looks like it's just waiting on builders for most of these that they've already cleared the area out. Probably want to put the blacksmith up here in this corner as well, because again, that's where our iron is. Your output is full, but that is not. We just need more people. It does seem to be a thing that, like, time... It doesn't seem like when it comes to a lot of the stuff, it's, um, ticking over at, like, a broader scale or whatever. It seems like a season ends, and it says, okay, check all the tools. Because I have noticed that quite a few times, there'll be, like, some point that everyone will need new tools. Yeah, our... our revenue is skyrocketing as we take those providences uh so it does seem like the answer for money is just literally claim stuff as aggressively as you can for all the extra stuff and then build forts as you get that tech quick builds allows us speeding up that gold smelting is another one which is pretty exciting um tailoring would be nice if i had enough houses oh actually i do so let's get tailoring going Alright, so we get the blacksmith up. We're starting to get our first houses up here done. Um, I'm sitting on all the stone I could possibly need now. So we're upgrading the clay pit to have better output. Try and get brick production and everything else up and up and running. Oh, upgrade town hall. Oh, yeah, I can I can afford that so much with just another trade. Okay, so let's see if this blacksmith gives me iron tools. Cause I don't even look. I'm assuming it gives me iron tools. We'll see. We're still struggling up here for a lot of everything. Food seems to be holding up well, despite the fact that I'm selling it constantly.
get a potato farm going up there as well. That require more people. So let's upgrade our town hall. Which means I get a new card here. Um, so we got mining and quarry production has improved and the card shop has improved. Unlocked cards immigrants and kidnap. Um what? Buy specific buildings. Okay, so I can now disregard a lot of the card stuff, apparently. Where am I putting you? Buy cards. Oh, that's real interesting. So we can buy a cathedral... First Cathedral grants 75 or 73 to victory score plus 10 job happiness in the city. Okay. I mean, I want it. I mean, the cathedral sounds pretty good. Uh, so we're thinking we're going to be very greedy on trading for a while. Um, and try and rush the cathedral. Because that's the first thing I've seen that anything says anything about victory points. I wasn't e didn't even realize I was competing for victory points in this game. I thought it was just grow, expand, get to the point that we're starting to rub elbows with our neighbors. Um, make my neighbors dead. And then, you know... Declare myself victor? That's usually how these types of games go with me. Like a lot of strategy games, it's like, you could do all these things. Or hear me out. Or I could not do all those things. And I could just military victory it. I either, I either go like hard science and just science victory it. Or I just go directly towards mass militarization. Both are viable. Okay, so my houses are getting upgraded from having more luxury goods available. Um, alright, well let's let's worry about um upgrades first. Oh, I bet you the tailor requires sheep. How's that blacksmith coming? Still not close. I, uh, I'll take the wild card. Who's got the most people? You've got 102 and 4 units. 103 and 4 units. Good enough for me. And can we trade again? Yes, we can.
I'm upgrading a lot of my production stuff in general. go all right so we got a bunch of those stuff oh it's showing us what spare luxury goods we have kind of bad that like i haven't seen that oh did we get this done okay so you're up here about the house there's the tailor this is where we're building potatoes where where was I was making a brewer. Uh, so this is going to be up here, and it was going to be... Oh! Alright, well none of that's what I thought. Mushroom beer? Sounds... Terrible. Orange cider sounds good. Mushroom beer sounds terrible. Miss the ad break. I, I noticed at the like last thing, mushroom wine is a thing. Yeah, doesn't sound like a winner to me. Maybe I'm knocking it before I try it. Yeah, no, I I miss the ad break. It's. I need I need to get that figured out where I can have like the button to do that. Um. We got a level three house. That's spare houses. All right, trade. Show upgrades. Okay, so that's building combo. Gain combo level one or whatever constructed building next. I mean, I'll choose it because I'm curious. I'm assuming what that's trying to tell me is that I put my buildings bunched together, kind of thing. Um, buildings of the same type in the area will kind of like upgrade each other. I wonder why this house isn't getting any of the luxury stuff. Like, what's up with that? Twenty four thousand. I'm assuming I'm not going to see some cathedral just floating around here because that's super expensive. Yeah, land grab wise was definitely taking the lead there for aggressive expansion. They're over halfway to getting the cathedral, which a 10% increased productivity to almost everything is going to be really good. Um, it does appear that this is going to be a problem soon. Trying to improve the output of all these things. A 
But I do so hopefully without burning the um things I need. Yes, they're only slightly burning more uh more coal than I want. Here we go. All right, so that's getting a little concerning there. They're gonna be starting to wipe out some of our supplies. Yeah, we probably need to back off on the trading of food too much pretty here. Pretty soon. We're trying to hold off so that we can keep Keep that moving. They're almost there. I've only got 4,000 to go before I can buy the cathedral. Which is the reason I haven't been, like, building anything. I'm just trying to... Well, anything that costs money, I should say. I'm trying to just beeline directly towards getting that cathedral, because first, first person gets the victory points. Um, and I want to snag it first. I've got spare housing, so we can have people continue to come into the colony. Uh, our storage is actually getting really depleted because I'm selling everything. Um, it does look like my food production is still generally positive. Yeah, my food production is still positive by like 600. I just keep trading it all away, which is, you know, doing a number to it. Um, we're getting a surplus of luxury goods now. So building combo, I'm expecting stuff like those houses to upgrade or whatever. Okay, those up there said combo one and two. Show upgrades. Building cathedral. Okay. So, yeah, so upgrade just means better productivity. So, yeah, we just basically boost the productivity on a bunch of buildings. And I'm still struggling on medicine somehow. <laughs> like, I've got most of my farms are medicine and dedicated to medicine exclusively. And still struggling. Um, So, you got leather clothes, wool clothes, cotton clothes. Okay, I got leather. That'll be nice. That's in our luxury, I assume. Okay, oranges, I literally only have 300. Alright, so... It's fine. We'll, uh, we'll wipe some of this stuff out and we'll just live with that. Okay. Big trade, please. Is that enough? It's not. One more turn, we should have enough. Like, you don't, I don't even need another trade. Literally just the passive income for, like, one more however many units it is for a duration of time will do it. Yay, we have a house level 5, because it's got a whole bunch of stuff. Ooh, because apparently the shirts are luxury level 2, so everything's upgrading. So I'm definitely lower population than everyone else in the game. Like, that is the one thing everyone is beating me on, is population-wise, they're winning. Um, but I feel like I'm getting pretty decent spot tech-wise. Um, I'm printing... What difficulty are you on? I have no idea. I don't even remember if it gave me an option of a difficulty. This is literally the first time, the very first round I've played, period, ever.
Now that said, if they did give it a choice, usually I will go with whatever the default is, like whatever their normal is, um, as a baseline. Because you never know with some of these games when they're like normal and it's like grueling and barely manageable and that kind of stuff. And then you have times where it's like normal and you know go take a nap. Those pigs are quite large compared to the people. Impressive. Oh yeah, that's the reason they're worth so much money. Heckin' money. Okay, so we're still in a net positive. Just keep trading away all my food. Did you give me that last little... Boom. Yes. I bought the cathedral. Boom. I would like to... Oh my god, did you see the resources on this thing? It's 800 stone. I mean, I guess I should have probably figured that. It's a cathedral. Uh, but, you know. <laughs> Where am I supposed to fit you? There, we'll have the cathedral out in the outskirts of town. Well, rip my stone and brick for all eternity. At least my money's my own now. That makes me think I'm not going to be the first one to build it. Just going on a limb here. Alright, so 360 will give me the vodka distillery. Um. Oh, yeah, geez. That coal production is way better. I was like, do I want to trade away the coal? And that's like, you're barely using any. Yeah, okay, cool. Um. When did all this stuff show up? Like, I'm sitting there going, oh god, I'm so low on everything. And then suddenly it all exploded up. Okay, cool. We got a bunch of money there. Vodka distillery. My potatoes are way up here. Well, they will be way up here. Four thousand for that one, then over. So let's let's actually see. If I were to build the next fort, because the fort didn't even seem like it had material cost, it's just yeah. Build a choke point to protect inner provinces. So still not super sure about how that works. Like, does it only protect one province in? Like that's that that one's a little unclear. You can't upgrade till you got more research. Well, stone-wise that thing's actually coming along alright. Brick-wise, not really. 
But that's not super surprising. Oh good, we're finally getting the blacksmith online, so hopefully we can start getting our tools to be better quality. Considering we're out of tools and medicine again. I keep seeing these being like, upgrade, downgrade, upgrade, downgrade, upgrade. I know I'm going to regret trading away all of that iron, but... At the moment, I'm sitting here going, what do I trade away? I'm going to, I'm going to stop trading for right now. Uh... Okay. Our housing is getting pretty close to getting maxed out again. I do think what's probably going to happen with that house is ultimately is I'm going to go up here and have to build like all the things to make people happy up here too. Okay, and as a reminder, tomorrow is my day off. Uh, so tomorrow I will not be streaming. I'll actually be um, It's a bit, like a very belated one. People are aware of my birthday was like last week. But um, it is when I'm finally going to have a chance to celebrate my birthday with my family. So that's when we're going to be doing that. Doing an escape room and lunch and all that stuff should be a lot of fun. But it won't be streaming tomorrow, but it will be back on Friday. And that's pretty pretty much par for the course is that I do take Thursdays off now. And I've been doing that for a decent while. Have super late. Thank you. Um, so let's see. So does the fort show up just on any of these? It does. Yeah, the fort the fort is the one thing I still don't really get. I don't, I don't understand. It says like, inside from here. You know what I bet you it is? I bet you have to buy these last ones. Um, and then almost all of this will turn green. Like I bet you if I buy this one, that one becomes ours because there isn't a connection that doesn't go by the fort. I think that's how it works. So literally, well no, cause that, that, these ones are all claimed. I don't understand you forts. I don't really get how you work. We'll just keep buying provinces. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep buying provinces. I'm going to not try and figure out how it works. It's fine. Okay, so our food consumption is starting to become concerning. Uh, I'm going to need to potentially upgrade our food production. Um, and the ways I could do this, we have all this extra space now. What I can do, I can be even lazier about this. Boom. Uh, fishing lodge. There's a bitch, I can cram another one right here. And 
boom. Where's the fishing lodge? Because we got plenty of places along the coast. They can just plunk down fishing lodges and it'll be fine. There, so that's three more fishing lodges to up our fish production dramatically. Which means I'll probably just be selling a heck of a lot of fish. Because then I also have the uh, the card here for cooperative fishing. Shrubbery. Allows building shrubbery. I don't, I don't care about that. Um, Increased farming production per level. We can do that for a little while. No, I'd not like to buy, I think. You have unlocked the wor your first World Wonder. World Wonders uh, get victory score. First World Wonder of its kind gets the build grants its owner full score, while each subsequent one gets half as much score. The game ends when one, four, when one player built all four World Wonders available to them. Um, okay, so like literally building that thing is the thing that leads to game win. Okay. That is not how I expected the game to be won, but that's okay. It's not like... There's, um... Some of the Civ games, if you built enough of the World Wonders, you'd have... I believe it was effectively a cultural victory? So my theory is... Now this fort... Yes, so now this fort covers that. So then if I buy each of those, when I buy this one... No, actually that one, I have to buy both of them before it counts. Um, so these ones, I just need to start buying these ones up here. Upgrades. Farming. Okay. Yeah, I got way too many people. Like, way, way too many jobs and not enough people to work them is the problem we're running into. And I also have a shortage of tools. And so that shortage of tools is making my productivity just nowhere near what it should be. You're still under construction? Oh, no, you're actually... No, you're still under construction. Is it because their houses are way up here? Or, like, the houses for, like, all the builders are nowhere nearby? I don't know. It's fine. They're about to finish it. That's what matters. It's going to be done. They're going to start using all these supplies that are laying around over here. Cool. So you make... What do you make? Iron tools. Excellent. That'll help out a lot. You're still scooping up all the stone and all the brick. Make more happy. So increasing the farm production should fix both the food and the medicine. It won't help with the tools, but I'm hoping the blacksmith will correct the tool problem by itself. They got the vodka distillery to be built up here. We're still working on building the farm. Uh, we are making our leather clothes, which is fantastic. You're a happy job? I don't... what? I don't even know what you mean by that. Upgrade. More food. Their food production is well above our need.
Yeah, worst case what I can do is um when I start connecting these ones, I'll try dropping a fort there and it should fill in this back area. Um, are there jobs that simply produce happiness by consuming things? Uh, sort of. There's the tavern. But um, right now, it's only... Like, it's got kind of a limited range to it, so it's a really hard to set up. Unless I, you know, build like a big city here and have everyone commute. Um, but like, our happiness has been kind of pretty locked in. At about 75%. Like, it's gone barely up and down any. And part of that is I keep taking that job happiness as, a th like, a band-aid fix for a lot of stuff. So it increases our productivity and, you know, gives us a little happiness. I have to wait till I have some resource that I have a surplus of. My population needs to go up a lot. <laughs> like that's that's the thing that seems to be causing me problems is my population. It seems to be becoming more children. Like I'm I'm noticing I have more and more jobs showing up, which is fine, but I'm not getting the population at the same rate, which is which is hurting us. And a big part of that is I'm not getting new houses in a timely manner. They're just taking forever to build it, which is probably because I don't have the people to spare. And I mentioned earlier in the games, like, make sure you set yourself to have laborers at the town hall. It's like, that's great. What are you talking about? There's no setting here for that. Probably set job priority. Make sure we have at least two builders. And at least two laborers at all time. That's what I'm going to go with. Maybe I should have done that forever ago. Yeah, and I've been leaning in on just continuously upgrading that food production thing. Because the way I look at it is that there's no additional cost or labor or anything to that. Like, I don't need to spend money. I don't need to spend anything. It just gives me more. With that being the case, that should help a great deal. Because then I can take all that extra more and just hit that trade button and make it go away. I'm just going to wait till I have a resource that's over 300 I actually want to consider getting rid of. So I'm getting tier 5 houses. How is my competition? So they're starting to spread out a lot more than they were before. Hauling services. I forgot about that. That's something we can get. They're only looking at houses level 4 for the most part here. They are building a really large number of farms. So my, my houses are upgrading faster than theirs now. You know, the village looks gorgeous. Um, Population-wise, they're also ahead of me. Yeah, they're also at four as well. Same here. So all three of them are at four. Well, I'm at five. Like, my houses are starting to get high. They each have about 20 more people than me, which kind of sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. I think I'm outproducing them on stuff, is what I'm doing. Like, just, like, food and all sorts of random junk. And kind of just gradually victorying by trading as fast as I can. Make happy take tax? 
I don't know what you're saying. Like, I, I understand you want me to make them happier. Um, but I'm trying, like, right now the problem I'm running into is I have buildings that I'm trying to build, but they're not getting them done. So I can't, I can't get more things being built until they currently get the ones I've already got queued up to build getting done. Uh, money's actually not been a problem at all because I'm making a surplus of stuff and the one I hit 300 is trade away for an instant influx of cash. Introduce beatings until they're happy. Yeah, that's that's actually in our place they're out gunning me is I have a much smaller military than they do. Like, my, my military are still warriors versus they have a swordsman and a couple of archers. That said, I do have, from the only area where I'm, like, landlocked with one of the other people, which is this way, um, I do have a fort blocking the way. The other one, as far as I can tell, until they get, like, boats or planes or something like that, I they can't reach me. Why is my wood production terrible? I should... Oh, I'm probably just building a lot. That's right. Um, hence, make sure they are happy. No happy, no work? Oh, no. So, what this is, all these symbols you're seeing on top of that, that's um, their tools are breaking, and I'm trying to fix it. That's actually what this blacksmith is about. But, um, I'm struggling to keep the tools sorted. But no, I uh, I actually don't think they have a mechanic where they're... Like, if they get too unhappy, I imagine they might stop working. Yeah, it does say, like, happiness does impact their work speed. But, you know, they're relatively happy. Um, and I'm actually trying to fix some of that with, like, some of the things I'm building here. It is very genuinely, I don't have enough people, like, volume of people. It's, it's, I have jobs that are vacant, not the jobs that are being, like, the staffing isn't high enough quality or high enough productivity. The good news, I'm getting extra luxury goods. That means I'm going to keep having more upgraded houses. Yeah, so you need more types of tier 2 luxuries, which I'm actually working on my second one. It's already being built there. That's a tier 2 luxury. Oh, I've got tons of extra medicine, so we could trade away the extra medicine. I don't think I want to trade the letter yet. Yeah, pretty soon I'll stop leveling up farming techniques. Turn potatoes into vodka. That is literally... Oh, we already got one, one uptick. That's literally what I'm doing, is I'm actually working on building the potato farm and then the vodka distillery. I am... I am already working on it. That's one of the many things I have queued up to build that I'm just, I'm just waiting on. <laughs> and you need to input a stone because I got this cathedral going. The cathedral is dying so far as uh, stone and brick goes. Cool. Yeah, so my, my belief is that once I claim these last two, that most of this should fill in with the fourth thing. If not, I'll try putting a fort up here and see, like, probably up this tile and see what happens. The, the fort the fort thing I find a little confusing on what it decides as inner. Like I get the idea is the place that the fort is protecting. 
but um I don't get what where where it considers inside and outside. Yeah, honestly, I'm guessing a reason a lot of those aren't getting done is the cathedral here. That's that's my guess of what's happening is we're putting all of our resources into this building this like wonder, which is a uh, a winning condition. Yeah. Um and Anon and Anno, having a big supply of resources helps speed things up. Yeah, that's pretty true of almost all these styles of games. That's actually a thing that slowed me down way earlier in the game. Was just um hurting on resources. Okay. Don't put passion on that. Make people happier about making bricks. Got iron and hides. I really don't want to trade those away. Because the feeling as I up my production, my dependency on iron and hides is going to increase. I need like one of these houses to get done. <laughs> okay, actually, prioritize these houses for a minute. Come on. It's going to rub up against our absolute max. We're running out of wood. Alright, so... Like, that's the thing. Part of me wants to build another for forestry, but I don't want to build another forestry because then that's more jobs I don't have people to fill. And it's the reoccurring problem. I need more of everything. So, you're running out of resources. What are you supposed to be? You're supposed to make wheat beer. I guess I just need more wheat farms. Building too big? Oh, this building? No, it's just... I mean, it's too big in the sense it's very, very costly, but it's a victory condition. It's a win condition. Um, Because it's a giant cathedral. So it is, it is a very costly, expensive building. The vodka distiller is ready to be built right now. It's got the materials, it just needs to be built. So it looks like I actually need more wheat and stuff to get that going. But the problem I'm running into with that is, you know... It's another building I need that I don't have the people to work. Their food's doing mostly okay. I'm surprised that as much as I'm upgrading that farming production that we aren't just detonating right past it. Um, it does, like, I have noticed my, my food consumption is going up quite a bit, even though my population is raising very, very slowly. I'm gonna have to just build more farms, which I actually am already doing. Literally building a giant potato farm here on rich soil. Chonk on Simple Village? I don't know what Chonk on Simple Village means. Okay, so the vodka production is getting done before the potato farm, which isn't going to go well because it's going to be... I mean, say, create a village that supplies construction workers. Um, so I've got some manually signed. I actually have nine people supposedly working on construction right now out of my 90-something. I think they're just losing a lot of time walking is kind of the problem at the moment. And then being short on tools quite often. Yeah, it bounces around like now it's at six. All right. Um, so I need to turn around and after these farming techniques, I need to get back to up teching, like actually up teching, because a lot of the other people are moving into the enlightened age and I'm still at medieval. So like right now it's me and another, like one of the other characters is in medieval and the other two are at enlightened. So I am, I am falling behind. I think so far as territory I control, I have the most. Um, financially, I'm probably one of the better ones. 
All right, so I am getting quite a bit ahead on leather, so let's go ahead and uh, sell a pile of leather. And then we can go and zoom out. Yeah, so like my guess is I claim that last territory, and then that should be between my forts, there's no unclaimed territory, so my hope is you'll consider the entire area secured or whatever. Um, and that means I'll get extra currency for every single tile. If not, I start plunking down forts on the extremities and just see what happens, because it's really unclear how that works. That's That's been the only thing is the forts and how they work has been the only one mechanic that the explanation doesn't really help much. Okay, unlocks Town Hall. So I have to have two houses level 4. I should have way more than I have a whole bunch of level 5. Unless by leveling up too high I've messed it up. Um, that said... Alright, well, with that going on... One nice thing is it seems like you can stockpile research. And then it just skips into where it's at. So let's keep upgrading food, I guess, then. All right. Can I claim the last territory? Okay. What happens with my... Yeah, okay, cool. So I've literally claimed the entire region to be fortified. Um, passion, okay. So yeah, so now that fort is making me 930 per ton, per turn. And now it's making me, okay, so collectively they're making 930. So that's almost like one of my trades per duration of time. I'm just producing money now. Like, that, that is an obnoxious amount of money. So I think I'm just going to try and, like, spread the place out as aggressively as I can. And then use the forts to just generate ridiculous amounts of wealth. Okay, so we're done. We're done with the stone. Stone production is now not being choked by the cathedral anymore. These are still taking forever to actually be built, which is upsetting, but, you know, it is what it is. LA recipe? Okay. I'm going to trade the iron here in a minute. And when I want to get that last one. That'll be added on to it. Cool. Just looking territory-wise, like, I own this giant region. This one has, like, a little spot here. That one's starting to expand. I definitely have the largest territory. And this, they've definitely got the smallest one up here. But you would say I'm not making the best use per tile. But I'm okay with that. That's because I'm waiting on them to construct stuff. So that's waiting for construction people. The houses are finally being built. Cool. Alright, so I'm I'm a whole age behind literally everyone else. Oh wait, um Let's go down here. Even more passion. How to construct fast. It's just, I think, 
I think the problem is I'm guessing my construction workers live down here and they're just walking the whole way. I don't really know a way around that problem in the way because I don't I don't get say like I can't say that's the construction worker house the farm I'm aware. All right, so once they're done with that, oh. Hang on, I don't actually want that one. Um, how do I get rid of you? I want I want to get rid of that. There we go. Five year plans? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we are now officially producing potatoes. And I do think I need to start focusing on some of these other materials. We got gold up here that I'm able to farm. Actually, first we could go like this and say, you belong to me. And we fortified more territory. So I can't go this way. Like, I'm, I'm landlocked from going there. So I'm just going to keep spreading this way as aggressively as I can. And when I get to a choke point like this, I'll build another fort and all of this will become mine. You know, same deal will come out to probably around here will be a choke point. Do the same thing. We'll probably, we'll probably run into them somewhere in this area. And then war will happen and people will die and it'll be traumatic. It'll be great. All right, so I got a bunch of new things. Sure. Done. All right. Um, What other cards am I going to get? Coal gives more heat if I use... So these are town slots. This is for the whole place. Um... Present predicted in mine if you have a blacksmith. Decrease upkeep on individual buildings. So those are individual buildings. Provincial building? That's something I don't even know what is. Um, luxury importer. Oh, I can trade luxury goods. Interesting. Okay. Oh, the provincial buildings probably means they're only available in certain parts of the map. We're such a dirty word, I prefer for aggressive cultural exportation. I see. Alright, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is use wild card. We're gonna build a forester forestry up here. And I'm going to build a hunting lodge. And I'm gonna build where are you? Where are you? I should have a gather, like a fruit gather. There you are, fruit gather. I need to build a small section of storage. The long road all the way down here. It then goes up here. Comes across here. And up here we will fit a couple of houses. Okay, so we got our potatoes growing, got all that. Um, let's go ahead and put another farm over here. How am I doing on workers, by the way? Let's before before I go with that, um, I have 107 jobs that need filling, and I've got 69 of those jobs filled. That is terrible. It's because I have a very high 
youth wait oh okay that makes sense so i got 70 adults and then four of those adults i've pre-allocated to be laborers and builders how long term is this how long is the game i don't know all right so we're expanding up there Grab the gold smelting since they're about to start mining gold. You have no long term specific building issues? Go ahead and try shoving a couple over. I do think what's going to ultimately happen is where I've got this forestry up here. That's probably going to become useless, all that. Good news. Tools doesn't seem to be an issue anymore. Nope. Tools are doing great. Since I got the iron tools going, I'm still going to let the stone tools be produced for the time being. I think because it'll help a lot. Why? I need you to have workers. I mean, I need everything to have workers. Um, but we're just trying to increase the population right now. And this is always a problem you run into with these style of games, is um, if you ever get in a situation you don't have enough workers, it it messes up your production line really badly. Um, the happiness, I do not believe, results in um, having a higher rate of kids in an online game. A lot of these games, they do have that. This game, it seemed to imply it was mostly uh, based on um, housing availability. Yeah, so the big the big complaint they have is not enough luxury goods, which I'm actively trying to solve. But I need more people to solve it. It's it's the chicken and the egg. I need more people to do the things to make it so you can have more people. A bunch of spare medicine. I have produced a thousand beer. That's a choke point there that potentially go to use. Unit me. I mean, they never specified the units. It could be a thousand droplets of beer. I I figured out you're still drunk. There was um not much question on that one actually. So my breweries gained thirty percent efficiency. Excellent. They're at 141. Oh my god, please build stuff. I want to fix a lot of these problems, but I need you to be building all of the things for that to happen.
Oh, you know what I probably can do? Buy cards. Um... That's actually not what I needed. I was hoping there's one that says, like, um... Like, there's a card that says immigrants, which is, like, bring in more people kind of thing. Ah, uh, but that does not appear to be a card I have. Um... Kidnap? I can live with that. Productivity boost. Passion. Steal up to three citizens from a target player. Apply on Town Hall. Okay. You have... 137. And you have... 152? Hey, you know what? I don't like... I don't like your current situation. You kidnap zero. Well, that's not what I was expecting. It's probably because they have a decent military. Yeah, so score... Um, plus 10% job happiness in the entire city is going to be huge. Unlock foreign relation tech to engage in diplomacy. You unlock the foreign... Time for Vroom Vroom. Yep. Uh, give me just a moment. We'll go ahead and get ourselves switched over for the ad break to do some Nitro... Uh, Nitro Stream Racing. Um, so the Casinoopolis was actually a fun track. At least I thought it was. Maybe we'll do it again. And actually, now that I think about it, we don't really care about this anymore. We can go to community play. If we just want us, we can just do... We can do community play right now, because we've unlocked the maps. So select track, exclamation mark, play to get in on the race. Uh, if you're either logged in on the website up top or you hit exclamation mark play in the chat, you'll get joined in. Um, we are going to do one where it is literally just chat. No bots, just us. Um, it is going to have the power-ups and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's not the giveaway mode, but it is going to see like who is the best racer at 3 a.m. on Wednesday. March 16, 2013. Uh, 2023. 13 is long since past. Um, this specific race. But uh, one last reminder. Exclamation mark play. We're going to go ahead and get started here in just a couple, like, just a minute. I'm basically waiting for the ads to start before I start the race. Because as you can see from the little box in the top, that's the, literally the UI I see. Um, so, it, you know, the time that said, like, an hour has gone down, it's time to start the ads. I have, like, a 15, 20 second, whatever delay before the ad actually starts. Um, and I think that's it figuring out. There you go. So you got three minutes of ticks down. So people said there was a, oh my God, it's been 10 minutes of ads. It's been three. It's been exactly three. It's been precisely 100% absolutely on the money three. It feels like 10 minutes and I can empathize with that, but it's been three. I mean, it feels like 20 minutes. Because no one wants to deal with some heckin' ads. Alright, and just like the last time we did a, um, a race with just us, I will be tracking the first and in first. So we got Psyphobia, Pop Monster, we're doing the whole thing at the beginning. Pop Monster seems to be getting out a little bit of a lead at the beginning. Uh, being overtaken by Bed Obsession. So Bed Obsession has taken the lead. Looks like it's going to be lost, though, to... I can't see who that is. Crace. Crace is going to sneak in the lead. Uh, looks like someone used something back there. Um, or was a turret or something that blasted. But a bunch of racers got knocked out real fast. 
There's gonna be a little bit of a slip up on the uh, on the hill there, like kind of lost lost their driving for a moment. But Chris has got a pretty strong lead and grabs a power up. Don't forget exclamation mark mega to use your power ups when you get them. Right now, Krask and Cyphobia have them. Uh, Krask got a little little caught up by those cactuses. Uh, it does look like the others are going to be right on Krask's table. We got Burning Sun coming up right behind Krask. Cyphobia not too far behind. Pava Monster's also there, so we got a bunch of people are all bunched up now. Oh, Senior Cookie has used Lightning on Krisk. It is slowing them down. It is going to get Burning Sun, except Burning Sun had a chance to overtake Krisk, but decided to do a circle and then get hit by a truck, and then put out a big F, and has run into a telephone pole. Uh, so Burning Sun's going to figure that out for a minute, giving Krisk a chance to stay in the league. Touched the side of a truck and went flying. I mean, yeah, it's physics physics in this game. Um, a whole lot of people are sitting on a lot of power-ups right now. But th to be fair, Grisk also got touched by a car and then thrown directly into a building. It does look like someone's going to overtake you. It is Tremex. Tremex taking the lead. And it reset you way back. Yeah, it feels like Mario Kart, huh? Where you're like, okay, I fell off the course. I'll be right here. And Lucky is like, how about we go back about 30% of the entire course? And you're like, you know what, Lucky Sleep with one eye open, man. That's all I'm saying. We have Krask still on it. Still really wants it. Just a little bit behind Tremex. Sitting on a power-up. Could certainly put that to use. And Tremex is slammed into a truck, letting Krask get the lead again. Almost everyone has power-ups, including myself, so I'm going to go ahead and use it, because why not? So I use lightning on Krask. Because I'm I'm that kind of you know streamer, I don't get the lead even though I know I don't have a chance of taking it back. I'm just gonna sour grapes it. I may not win, but I'm gonna make sure you lose. No. <laughs> it gave me a thing, and I wanted to type in the thing. Oh, and I have another one. Chris is like stop. Uh, that's going to give Tremex a chance to catch back up. Except Tremex going down the hill without anything spun out. Uh, they got a little bit confused when someone said to oil their wheels that they thought they meant oil their tires. Uh, it's very it's very easy to make that mistake. Oh, Chris getting pigeoned. Knocked right off the side of the course. That is going to give Tremex a chance to take the lead. It is on the final lap, but that's okay because Tremex immediately hit a semi. Or a limo, limo. He hit some kind of vehicle. Uh, looks like Senjin Cookie got catapulted. I don't know if that counts in the lead or not. Grace got pigeoned again by Burning Sun. And again by someone else. But was already off the course. So it just kept the stun going, I guess? Uh, Grace may be completely ruined by being thrown into a literal cage. Uh, so Bed Obsession has taken a lead. We'll see if Grace recovers. It's still a very close race. If someone uses a power-up on Bed Obsession before he gets around the corner here, that might be the end of it. I saw that pigeon. It didn't get there in time, though. It it literally hit him as he crossed the finish line. <laughs> so you did, you did technically strike him, but it was as he was crossing the line. So we have Bed Obsession... We'll just wait till it shows the next screen. So we have Bed Obsession at first... Narrowly getting through there before the, the pigeon hit him. Tremix at second. Captain Brody at third. Papa Monster had the fastest speed at 136.24 kilometers per hour. Senjin Cookie spent the most air travel at 304.71 meters. And I crashed into the most cars at 13. So nicely done, everyone. I did notice the coin payouts for this mode are terrible. The winner got like 15. Versus the other mode we were seeing like 50, 60s, 70s, and 80s. Why, why are you not... Oh, there you go. I was like, why are you not playing the music? Oh, I need 30 level 4 houses. The worst thing is I think the houses that upgrade to level 5 don't count. 
Getting good stuff? Oh. Sorry. Um, we just... We just got the gold smelters all happen. I'm being bad about it, I do apologize. Um, and I noticed that for upteching, I need a bunch of tier 4 houses. But these are tier 5s, and apparently that doesn't count. So I will make a stink devs. If I have a higher tier than is required for something, count it. Okay, so we're starting to get all that online, which will get us a bit more food, a bit more wood, a bit more everything. I turned around and suddenly there is, um... Like, 900 pelts in here. Our food went from, okay, it's not great, to explosive amounts of food. In seconds. You need input. Require less input. Done. Near two won't really help me too much right now. It's the input that's the thing that's the problem. Oh. I can set caps to everything. That might be worth doing. Because we start doing that, then as people don't have things to do there, they'll go other places. They also help us keep our storage from getting too out of hand. All right. Not them particularly getting over a thousand of anything in a frequency. Alright, well the hope is um, that'll actually sit there and make it so if I'm still out producing the rate I can trade and everything that will end up being something you can go ahead and move around stuff. You cannot claim provinces from more than seven provinces from the town hall. Well, I didn't know that. That's a bummer. I want it all. And I want it now. I don't want to wait. So if I can claim this territory, I potentially block stuff. It's a shame that these are the choke points here. I can't. Nah, yeah, that's not going to be good for putting putting that as... That's kind of a bummer. So the good news is I still actually get money from this. It's just really nothing. Um, if nothing else, I feel like I am denying it to my, my other people. It says buy land, so I'm assuming what happens is we'll uptech. Oh man, I bet you that's the thing that's going to kill me. Um, it's because they're going to be uptech. You know what I might be able to do though is I might be able. No, I can't because it's 
it's literally a whole technology tier. So the problem I'm running into is if we look at the technology side of this, um, not upgrades, where's, where's tech? How do, I, how do we get to tech? Tech. If we go to the technology side of this, I require to have 30 tier four houses. And the problem I'm running into is they keep upgrading, like there's tier, I mean, these ones are actually good examples. Wait a second, they all drop down. Oh, they go up and down, okay. That's not nearly as bad. So there were a whole bunch of them at tier five. But a bunch of them drop back down to tier three because they don't have enough luxury goods. So, you need three types of tier one. So I ha don't have enough tier one stuff. Okay, that's that's not as bad. I was sitting there getting frustrated because I'm like, oh man, I'm not going to be able to do this. Um, like, it'll be just like too much micro to try and make it work. Okay, how am I doing with jobs, though? Because that's still the problem we've been running into. I have 117 jobs I need filling and 74 people working them. These houses do not carry enough people. Need more tools. Don't say that. We've been doing good on tools for a long time. Okay, so here's the problem, is um, this place doesn't have enough workers. Better houses? The better houses, from what I've seen, don't give them more people that they can hold. It makes it so they don't use as much fuel to keep them warm. They all, they all just give five people. So it's just more, and that's what I've got going on here, is I've got four more houses being built up here, and then I'll get the next four. Which is important, because... Actually, my fuel is not in a good place. Uh, well, that's concerning. That's because I don't have people working here. I think for right now, I'm not going to be worried about trading much. Yeah, so they're not they're not faces. What that is, is that's telling me that their tools are damaged. And that's because with the people as like people are coming and going kind of thing, I ended up having an issue where um my coal production went away and it had a cascading effect and knocking everything else down. It's already fixing itself, but it's going to take a minute. Yeah, that's because of my population, I have a higher percentage of children now. So I don't think I trade anything away, because, like, honestly, I'm producing enough money. It's not a, a not a media problem. I don't have a lot I need to spend money on. Um, so instead, I'm going to save my resources. And I'll just buy territory as I just happen to have extra money laying around. Because I'm going with the strategy of I like, claim as much territory as possible. I'm assuming there is some form of conquest they can do to take land from me. We'll see what happens with it. You have a lot of people dying of old age. And then children are replacing them, which is fine in the long term. But in the short term, it means they have less people working age and more people, um, more people who are not working age.
Steel. Wait, I can buy multiple per turn this whole time? Oh. That changes so much. It's fine. Yeah, so he's got so much military, I can't... I can't actually do anything to him, really. Alright, let's make new troops. Because I'm starting to feel like I don't have enough. I wonder if the NPCs also get to it. Like, I've been having people get kidnapped left and right and just didn't even realize it. I'm guessing no. Because I'm guessing there'd be a message that, like, people have gone missing or something. Like, not that you necessarily know who did it, just that it was done. So pretty soon, I should be hitting my caps for a lot of my, um, my production stuff. You can now raise a minor city or fort to remove them from the map. Um, come again? Unlock foreign relation tech. Let's see, show tech. Go ahead and choose the beekeeper. Province conquering. You can now conquer opponents' provinces with your army. The province Conquer, the province to conquer must be next to your territory. Okay. So basically what's saying is once people... It probably triggered because these two are close enough together that they're almost in range of conquering each other. Because this, this person over here is minding their own business. Like, they're going to be over here by themselves forever. Yeah, like, they got they got plenty of room to grow. These two are about to, uh, to start button heads. As they both want to expand, and the one on the desert side has to get through the other one to expand any meaningful amount. Okay, bricks. I need you being made. I know I, I know I need like meet all the things being made. Well, for one, we've got we've got the fish production going, so that means all the fisheries should be shut down now, right? So when you're when you're at capacity. And you stop working, you reassign, right? You don't just, like, stop working, right? Because if you don't switch jobs, that's utterly useless. And I'm getting that real big sinking feeling that they just keep working. Okay. Yeah, so that's another thing. Like, if you're going to have a cap on it, People should unassign when, like, the work is no longer a thing to be done. Um, so let's go here. Can I... Let's look at our priority. It was up here. It was, um, job priority. Uh, fishing lodge. I mean, let's go ahead and move coal mining up the priority a lot. Make coal mining at the top. Um, and we'll put brickworks up there. I think we'll do that for now. Because that brickworks is bottlenecking us. That kind of sucks, because my whole, my whole plan with doing that was that... um. Oh good, it did unassign him. Okay, it did unassign them. It finished the work they were doing and then it unassigned. Okay. No, it didn't. I just... It's because I reassigned everyone. It's fine. Show tech tree, not showing any tier fours. Medicine maker, we want that. I would like a beekeeper. 
Uh, produce beeswax and honey efficiency increases with more surrounding trees. Okay, so it's like you want some heckin trees. I'm getting real salty if someone beat me to the cathedral this whole time because I've just been trying to deal with the worker assignment kind of nonsense. Okay, so like fishing kicked back in when it dropped below a thousand. So it does seem like I'm gonna have workers like bouncing around right now. Between that, I don't think that's ideal, but it is mechanically how it works, so I don't think there's really a good way of working around that either. Beekeepers need fruit trees, if you remember correctly. Um, the good news is they're right next to a forestry that is set to plant fruit trees, if I'm remembering correctly. That should work out okay. Let's just go big. Build a lot of houses. You know, it's not a bad idea for that one, because I still I have multiple forestries going on. So it'd probably be worth it for me to have that one down there, because I had the beekeeper there. Uh, forestry. Oh, you have... So, plant fruit trees. Cut non-fruit trees. Excellent. Like, that'll be fine, because I'm sitting on 700-some wood. The bigger concern is that the coal fell behind, because all my people weren't working the coal. But um, we did make it top priority now, so... Let that recover for a bit. Yeah, so it is working now that um they are unassigning. Every time we have a thousand. You know, have too much wood. Yep. We're sitting on, like, so much mushrooms and so much everything. I think that's probably the thing I need to be doing, is having my people unassigned and all that when I don't need them doing stuff over here. Uh, meanwhile... Yeah, so I can't take those, and I can claim that tile, and then that's all the tile I can control until I manage to get my stuff sorted out. Uh, productivity... Okay. Cool. All right. And they're getting downgraded farther, because they're not making their luxury goods. Which is interesting, because I have multiple tier 1 luxury goods. I actually have a bunch of tier 2 luxury goods, too. Oh, you know what I bet it is? I bet you this pottery can't keep up with the extra demand we have now from the other stuff. Um, so let's see. That'll do stuff. I don't want to get the extra worker slot because I don't have enough workers as is. My guessing with all the extra beer and everything I'm producing, it's um, it's becoming a problem. Like I'm using all that, all that pottery to make my beer and all that. And the vodka. Making all the vodka. Oh! Our storage is maxed out. Um, that's a problem. So that's still being built up there, a bunch of storage. Get some up here by where the vodka is being produced. Yeah, so where I stopped selling stuff so aggressively. Our storage is getting getting overwhelmed.
Okay, sorry about that. Alright. Yeah. So the money hasn't been that big a concern because of how much territory I've taken over with the forts. I've been actually like trying to let it cap out, and the reason I've been trying to let it cap out is so that the workers who are working the jobs of things that are capping out will just do something else. Like, it'll unassign them and put them elsewhere. It's not going to be very effective. You don't have your warehouse yet? No, um, I haven't gotten to, like, the Tier 4 stuff. Like, I had houses at Tier 5, but then as they caught up and, like, as I got more and more, they started downgrading again. Oh, good, the cathedral's finally going to get done. Heck, yeah, that's been for literally ever. Yeah, I'm working on the Medicine Maker. And for the record, this is my very, very first time playing. Sorry about that. Alright, so it says we got one level 4 house. Yeah. I've skipped on some much lower tech. There's probably some I shouldn't have done. Alright, so let's get the Medicine Maker build. Yep. Which will be another job I don't really have capacity for, but you know, that's fine. Ah, brick. I mean, actually, I'm co- uh, wait, we're okay with brick now. Because the cathedral's being built. I don't, I don't need more brick. I just need people building it. You place near the medicine farm? Yeah, the medicine farm's right here. So it's right up here. Yeah, it's not. It could be. I mean, it could probably be closer. So that would give us a sheep ranch, and we could build the library. Yeah, now I got a bunch spread out. Okay, I mean, this is, like, all over the place. It's fine. Oh, no, no, don't build it there. One second. Hang on. Um, go here. Yeah, I don't... That's that's in my forestry, so I don't want to build it right there in the forestry. That'd be a mistake. Um, That's in our forestry. Yeah, no, I figured that's going to be a problem. I guess you go here. That's fine. Cathedral and the sheep farm. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a common problem that you run into in all these games, is being mindful of your paths that, like, you don't have people trying to drag stuff super far. That's one of the reasons why I built this storage yard here. Okay, and I didn't even see what that was for. We'll do logistics next. A library. Um, fifty percent surrounding houses effect does not stack. I mean, I actually don't really care about that. The research is going smoothly. I don't. You know what? We'll put up here. Fine. Yeah, and I don't. I don't need every detail told to me because, like, part of it is I do want to figure it out. Yep, want that. Give. Done. Yeah, build that cathedral. And I believe I'm the first one to build a, um... A great work or what monument or whatever they call it in this game. Oh, we got a homeless person, they're probably gonna die. Our stockpiles are full again.
Agricultural Revolution. Hauling Services. Workers use carts to haul resources to fill buildings output. Okay, so... I heard great distances, but... This implies it's only for things in range of this. Kind of going to be hard to use. That's good for houses and markets. Okay, that still helps, so I'll build that there. Uh, da, 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 da. I'd probably go ahead and need a up here where I got a big concentration of houses as well. Actually, I can put it here and that'll probably cover the most houses. It's not going to be the most efficient for getting stuff too. Logistics 2, that's for the market. Um, granary. Food storage, productivity to surrounding food producers. Well, I did not build my food production with this thing in mind. Um, this actually might be an okay spot. It's really going to be encroaching on that forestry if I do that. Down here won't be so bad. It's not... Well, I mean, yeah, it's fine. I've got this farm, I've got the two fishing place, and I'm barely touching in that. It's probably okay. Replace? Replace? Yeah, no, it's a thing. It is going to be a mess. Replace it needed? Yeah, yeah. Passion. And her people are getting happier. Yeah, now let me let me figure out the buildings and all that. Like, don't get me wrong, I've I have played tons of these games, so I'll probably put that building. And go, oh, it's this, and I'll you know mention the building from another game, because they do very very all heavily borrow from each other's ideas. Like they'll have their things that adjusts, but they do all borrow from each other, constantly and forever. Like the big thing that's different with this one is the whole like where you've got like you know, 4X strategy thing going on. It's like banished that someone, you know, bolted into a 4X strategy game, which that's not, not meant in a negative way. I mean, the stealing has stopped being meaningful or useful because their security is high enough they just beat it. Badge to 4x? Yeah. That's like, it's like, okay. Uh, beer Brewer, I think we actually do on one. Go Tech, Trading Company. All right. Market, yes. Okay, how can I even fit you anywhere? I could probably get rid of this wheat field. I mean, it still only hits a couple houses. I mean, the thing, the answer is, we're at that point of this, uh, that forestry place up there can kindly go. Yeah, this is fine. Yay, we got the thing, Master Potter. Um, alright. Trade fees for each thing, maximize 20. So let's get rid of that. Put in ma 
hotter. Because the trade fees aren't mattering too much because I'm not. I'm basically just using trade to dump stuff when my inventory gets too full. Not really doing a whole bunch. Man, we just need more people. Like that's, that's what I'm dealing with. I just need more people. All the time. Make perfection, plan extra stuff. Also, usually with these games, one of the advantages, you usually don't have to make everything perfect in any way. You can just more in these style of games, up until we probably get into conflict, then we have to worry about it. Because these are also the type of games that typically when you take down a building and moving it, it kills, like it gets rid of so much resources. You know, multiple ingressions? Yeah, I wish that was kind of stuff that it would be better about stating in the game. Like, I figure that might be the case, but usually in these kind of games, those are unique buildings. So it was really kind of weird. They're like, okay, but really? Why? Uh, bu bu bum. Don't care. I mean, at the moment, it's actually not getting the more people in, it's getting the houses built. I mean, I've, I've got tons of map to work with, like, I'm only building this whole area and I control all of this territory. Like, now that I bought that, there's literally no more territory and range I can claim. Like, that's, that's the edge. Um, trade routes allowed you to trade with other cities. Okay. Foreign relation. That's the first one I'm going to grab because with foreign relation, get that. So trading company. Automatically trade resources with the world. Oh, yes, please, please. Yes. You have no idea game. I mean, you do have an idea. You bothered to implement it, which tells me this is something you noticed was a problem and you thought of it. But yes, every time my stuff maxes out, just get rid of it. The curiosity. So, yeah, there's not, because, like, if I could get these three tiles, it'd be perfect. Because I could put a fort on that tile and that, you know, this tile... And this tile back here, and all of this become fortified as well. But I can't quite get that far. And I'm assuming I won't be able to until I manage to get my, um, my house is better. Alright, so I wanted to build another brewery. I don't really know where I'm going to position it. It is becoming a constant issue for me. I'm going to make mushroom beer. Set production 1000. So I don't know if all of this just becomes beer. I think all this just becomes beer. Which is actually disappointing if that is the case. If all of that just becomes beer. I think it does. I, kn I know you keep saying eat the sea. I don't have the availability to do that. I can't just dump ground and you're thinking a different game. Like maybe later we get it. I don't think we do. That's um, oh, what is the one? Not Industries of Titan. Richard does just depends on which resource you use to make beer. Yeah. All right. I've been trying to think of what um So we have beer is another one. So we're making beer and furniture and pottery and then we don't have tulips. So the big thing is I need to yeah, so our clay pit is not pulling its weight. So we're going to add two more workers to our clay pit. 
How is our workforce going? We're still only covering, out of 123 jobs, 87 of them. They have two dedicated laborers and workers. I probably should have more, which is that. No, it's okay. I, I got you. All right, so they are, gonna, they are working and getting these extra houses built and all that. Um, and I'm going to start doing the things to make them get more bonuses and all that. So I hope we get those more tier fours. Yeah, so I got the full credit for the cathedral because I built it first. Oh, hang on. I think I misunderstood this building. If I'm understanding this correctly, it's saying I can grow this, you know, in my area around this thing. So it's like I'm effectively making it an area I could grow stuff. Um, That's got interesting implications, actually. Um, where the heck am I going to shove you? Seriously, where am I going to shove you? I'm just, I'm just going to put you over here somewhere. I'll make like another, another expansion or something. Go tech. Candle maker. You received a free embassy card. Must be built in another player's town. Well, that's interesting. Ah. I have to become friends with them. Then I could build it. I was like, I was about to say, was like, what? I could just go to someone's town and be like, take my building. Um. Anyway, so we were going to be building this building. So the curiosity I have with that. Is the implication is I am going to be allowed to grow... A cannabis farm. Motivation cards are really, really good. Yep. We already got all those built. Um. So then the curiosity shows up. Is it just... Oh, it's probably just regular farm, isn't it? So would be just go down here farm. And I've got a spot down here I can grow farm. But I don't have the choice. Oh, it has to probably be built first. It's showing that I will have the choice of that. Yeah, no, it's, that's the thing. It's like learning to keep my, my happiness up, which it is coming up gradually. Like we're figuring it out. Oh, good. We almost have all the employed people we want. I'll probably need to make another coal mine soon. Rip my bricks. You click in the star, your builders and labors will focus on buildings first. Yeah, now I've been. I did that earlier. Like, I'd set up a group of buildings and all that. At the moment, I don't have many buildings that say are, like, particularly higher priority than the other. Oh, so this building. is not done yet. I just have too many different things I'm doing at once, is the problem. It's a reoccurring problem with that. Oh, man. 
sell stuff. Sell more. Too many products and not enough workers. Oh yeah, that's like you've noticed most of the buildings I've been building are like big blocks of more houses. Trying to fix that particular problem. The good news is I got my gold mine. So we're getting gold now. Yeah, a bunch of labors. I see. Yep. Yeah, they're just temporary ones. Okay, so we're starting to get more of our houses to four. Like that's the thing that's gonna hurt us is we fall on way behind there. So baking, candle maker. I didn't even see what you need for your resource. I assume beeswax? Like, I assume the bees give wax. That's just what I'm picturing in my head. Um, so you should be in this area, because that's where the bees are. That seems like the spot. And that storage has been completely overwhelmed by meat. That one's also been completely overwhelmed. I remember when food was like, we never actually ran into a problem with food, but like it did drop quite a bit. And I remember it was actually a tiny bit of a struggle. It was like, oh no, let me uptick my food. And I may have gone a little too far. It's okay though. Going too far on food in these games is never a bad sign. I know I should be uptaking my military. But you know, we're doing what we can. I was actually hoping I could collapse that. Honey. Yeah, so it's still down to the cannabis and the pottery are not happening very fast. Um, and the pottery isn't happening very fast, I believe, because of this. Not happening as fast as it should. And then plus the bricks are just gobbling up material. Alright, so require more houses level 4 for a winery. As I play, the military stuff wasn't really a problem. The computer never did anything against you. I don't know the change. No idea. There's the warehouses. A windmill and a bakery. Um, grinds wheat into wheat flour. Productivity surrounding farms, plus 10%. So I've been meaning to build a wheat farm elsewhere. Like I got this tiny one here that's been carrying that. I have a feeling I'm going to have to go. Alright. The thing we're going to do is up here. Take advantage of this area. Put a wheat farm up there. I'm gonna take a windmill. I'm gonna chunk it right in here in between those farms. Cause I can't I can't fit it down there. That's fine. I already have plenty of stuff there. It's interesting that one spot's not accessible. It's fine. So we're gonna chunk it in right here. Oh, there's like a cliff there or whatever. That's fine. Um, and it will go up here because that's a spot and we're going to make a bunch of storage. Now we have a bakery. But on the other side. So we've connected all this so that the people working here want to go up there, don't have to walk the whole way down and come back or... I think they're probably just cutting across, across the grass or whatever. It doesn't matter. It's going to be faster. That's the important part. They will have a dedicated road.
All right. So we are growing extremely aggressively. Hey, hey, Northern Quarter, thank you so much for the raid. Um, I really do appreciate that. Let me go and get you a shout out. So, come on. Shout out at Northern Quarter. So let's see what you're up to. Um, I can't tell if you're playing Mountain Blade, Red Redemption 2, or Warhammer 3, because Twitch is just saying you played those recently without saying which. But whatever you're playing, I hope you had yourself a good stream and all that. And welcome, Raiders. Uh, just playing myself. This is the first time I've played this game. It's called Kingdoms Reborn. The devs were kind enough to give me a key. And so we're checking it out. It's kind of neat that it's like... It's it's part like banished and all that where you build your like little place. You got to worry about like making sure you have fuel so people don't freeze to death in their homes and food and entertainment and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, if we zoom out, it's also a 4x strategy game where you've got other factions to deal with that there's some military. I don't know how involved it is because uh, I'm still brand new to the game. But it. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's a little mountain there, but it's uh, it's pretty good. I'm enjoying it. I'm having problems keeping enough people working that I'm just trying to explode my population right now because I have more jobs that need doing than people to do them. And I'm probably going to run to the next problem you, you run to these kind of games, which is you decide that you need more people and you rapidly expand and then suddenly throw everything out of whack where you don't have enough fuel to keep people warm and you don't have enough food and you don't have enough everything and the whole thing melts down. Uh, we're probably going to do that, because that's a very typical learning experience in these games. But we'll get there. Alright, um... Why I can't make the winery. I'll choose quick build. I'm not going to be able to do a thing with it yet, but that's fine. You've unlocked the warehouse from buildings. Okay. So warehouse just straight up... Okay, so warehouse is fairly small as a building. I'm assuming this will just be a direct replacement to my stockpiles and it'll be a thousand times more efficient and I'll hate my stockpiles forever by comparison. Uh, let's try one there. Is that more people? You can hold down shift, um, I think, and you can place multiple the same building. Gotcha. Makes sense. Um, there's, like, the card game element thing that happens, like, um, what ends up happening is they give you a random set of buildings, and if you don't choose them, then you get wild card that lets you make any building. It seems like it only really mattered at the very beginning, so it's kind of weird that they keep it. Because one of those things you look at and go, okay, you could just delete the card game thing and it probably wouldn't matter. You know, outside, like, a couple interesting things, like, where you can just instantly get more people. Alright, so how are we doing on bricks? Do I have to set that to have a cap? Yeah. You're still going. How's my clay supply going? So my clay's not doing great. My bricks are doing okay because I keep using them aggressively. Um, I'm starting to get a little pottery. Which would be good. My food is doing great. I'm actually... Looking at this, I'm actually not making that much extra food. It only really matters at the beginning, and it could really F you over um, at the beginning if you're lucky. Gotcha. Makes sense. So, luxuries and city attractiveness are my current big negatives. I haven't seen much I can do with city attractiveness yet. Luxuries is actually what I'm trying to fix. And that's stuff like wine and beer and nice clothing and all that kind of stuff uh, but I am trying to fix that and why is the game music completely gone but um, it is requiring me to just build more build more build more and we're waiting oh, I have two productivity books I haven't put out I'm just upgrading my buildings because they're here and why not? I'll probably have to put more jobs at those later. I'm trying to hold off the um... 
uh, trying to hold off a of jobs or the uh, upgrades are just like we give you more people can work here mostly because um let's see plus some productivity for each level four house oh okay all right there are some decorations in the housing menu unless it isn't researched yet um they'll help with your attractions yeah i didn't i didn't see any here oh we have stone roads which are better movement Okay, I already know how this plays out. Get ready to lose all of my stone. Because it is time. Ads coming. Um, so I'm gonna probably do is I'm gonna snooze those, and the reason I'm gonna do that is I know we just got raided, and that's kind of a bummer. But this is right around my wrap up time, so I do I do apologize for everyone who popped in. Um, it is it is just unfortunate timing, but um, so don't go anywhere though. I'm gonna go find someone for us to raid. Uh, but I did I did bump the ad so he didn't get hit with like one ad break right before the end but um i do normally wrap up at about 4 a.m edt it is 4 a.m edt <laughs> yeah so thank you so much for everyone who's been tuning who's been, who's been lurking chang following subscribing to the bits host the donos and the raids it all helps i really do appreciate it. so we're going to 